Let's catch you up to speed. My name's Toast, and I made a challenge to survive 365 days in the Walking Dead VR. For the last five days, I have been fighting for my life to stay alive. I'll speed run you through the details. Day number one, I met a man named Henri. He dies, and then I camped out at this cool little bus hideout, which eventually became my home base. Day number two, I woke up mad early. I got a good stretch in, and I sailed off to the shallows to go and do some exploring. This resulted in me killing this woman's husband and then returning the ring to her for a quest. Uh, she also gave me this safe code, which was pretty dope. And once I returned home, I put together this radio and talked to a man by the name Casey. You'll learn more about him later. I also found this little love note before I went to sleep. Day number three, I visited a place known as Via Corolla, which had a ton of survivors. I raided their base, stole their goods, and salvaged those items to help upgrade my workstations. Day number four, I revisited Via Corolla, as this place was a loot haven. Looked like there was more survivors at the base I raided, so I did some more damage. I grabbed what I could, killed zombies, and stole this weird item hiding in a fountain. I then made my way back home safely, so I could see the light of day once again. Day number five, I got a little carried away. I went back one last time to Via Corolla and wanted to make my mark, so I got deep within enemy lines. I stole what I could, and also got a ton of experience using my revolver, but this also had me closer to death more than I would like. I definitely need to play my life a little bit smarter moving forward, but overall, a really productive first five days in the Walking Dead VR. Seems to me man can do a lot of thinking When he's staring down Set his sights set on me Since the day that I took sides with the sun Now every morning I go to war with the ghosts I met the night before Just trying to find the grace in my mistakes There's monsters beating down my door Hello, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. The day is day number six out of 365. So we have a ton of time to go and do a lot more grinding, collecting, killing, you name it, dude. There is a lot of work to be done here for the series. But as you guys do remember, we have been collecting a lot of medication. We got some bandages. We also got some... Acquired weapons, which is really great. We've been using a lot more of the handgun here of the custom 30 revolver Which has been really really helpful for a lot of the combat that we've been doing for the game We also got a fire axe a crowbar a double barrel shotgun and obviously the beautiful freaking bow but as for this video, I really want to focus on just really grinding out these these workstations because I need to get as much of this stuff leveled up just so I can really acquire a lot more passive abilities and also just better gear all in all to prepare myself for the future of this 365 day survival. But lucky for us, we're actually able to go and get the laminated bow now and go and craft this bad boy. But there is one issue. If I go and craft this bow, I cannot craft the arrow bundles yet. To use. So what I need to do is go and get this level up to level 4 today and just collect a ton of wood scraps, adhesives, and just do a ton, and I mean a ton, of collecting. So without further ado guys, we should probably go and stock up on weapons, gear, and just get all that set out for our expeditions for today. And I'm almost debating on bringing out more like melee weapons for this one, but I'm really uncertain if that is going to be the best way to do this. But I do have my pistol in really, really good shape there. So I'm wondering, do I bring more than what I have? Because I could 
I could play a little bit risky and only bring in these two weapons and then just hopefully find gear as we go. But I almost feel like it might be good to have an extra pistol with us just in case stuff goes super, super south. That's a tough one, man. Let's see, our stamina-wise, we are looking pretty decent for our stamina. And then our health, obviously, is pretty high up at the moment. So I think for this run, we'll go and grab some clean bandages just in case if we do get shot up by some enemies. And then, as for medication-wise, we should be able to find that on our next, uh, our next little trip. But since we have been doing a lot more of the grinding in the shallows and via Corolla, I want to go and try something new today. So instead of just going and following the story, we're instead going to go and take a little stepperino into some new zones that we haven't explored yet. So hopefully you guys are excited because we're going to be going into some new zones and testing some new things and hopefully pull off some really good loot hauls for the days that we move on forward. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and check out either Memorial Lane or the Old Town. I think both of these could be really fun, like, little travel spots. But I think I'm going to do Memorial Lane. Oh my god, it has been so long since I've seen this beautiful freaking place of Memorial Lane, man. This area is so gorgeous. I actually have probably the most time played in this zone on the Trials mode. Like, I seriously love Trials. It's probably, like, my favorite thing in The Walking Dead. Just because it's, like, a, a very... Very similar to experience of Call of Duty. Like, if you've ever played Call of Duty Zombies, that's how the trials typically work. But also, why is there just a ton of zombies being hung over here? Hello? And you are a fancy little zombro. So you can go to sleep, alright? Stay quiet. Because I need to go and do some collecting. And hopefully, try to pull off as much loot. But also, try to get out of as many engagements as possible. I don't want to use my weapon if I don't have to. I need to save my ammo and just collect. Wood scraps, adhesives, those are the things that we really need to focus on in this one. And hopefully, maybe even find some other, like, uh, NPCs that we can go and interact with for quest. This one drops wood scraps, so I will actually keep this if I can throw it right in my backpack. And then we got a little note. So let's go and read this bad boy. Now is not the time to be sent. Now is the time to commit to a community, to be part of something. Our vision for the future is rooted in hope. It ensures a future for humanity. Cast despair aside. What is that sound? There is no point is there a nearby? in clinging to Did it. Did I miss him? Do not commit to isolation. I heard Dedicate it somewhere, but I don't see it. To a Am I birth. crazy? And you will not be alone. Where's the zombie Just at? In us okay, so he's on the other you. end. We got a few and more zombies on the other end there. So I am going to try to avoid you. them. And I'm going to go and check out the walls, houses. You will be safe. Within our walls, your needs you will have? be met. Nuts and bolts? Within oh, our walls, life oh. goes on. The tower will this always stand. Oh my oh. goodness, dude. So we got another base that we have to go and raid here. Holy crap. Okay. So this is going to be a big, big uh, place to go and raid. Let's see. What do we all got here? We got one that's kind of defending the gates. Doesn't look like we have anyone up top. But I am going to go in for this, dude. I think this wouldn't hurt to at least just go and visit give around. give me your bandages, when I'm done with you, you're going to need a whole bunch of them. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to grab my bandages. Psych, it's a knife. Ha-ha. Get yeeted and deleted. You know what? Look, you could have just... You could have been a friend. We could have talked about this. And we could have moved on with our lives. But instead, you decided that you wanted to ask me for my bandages. And now look what you ended up. You are now a dead woman. So, unfortunately, um, you're going to have to suck it up, buttercup. I now have your bandages. Which kind of stinks, doesn't it? Isn't that too bad? Imagine losing your bandages just because you got a little greedy. And you tried to kill the tourist. Like, how could you? Dude, it is so freaking dark in this house. No joke. And I am not a big fan of that. We do got another frying pan, though. Which is... Oh, I will make all the noise in the world to attract everything and anything that lives in Memorial Lane, man. Holy cannoli. But we need to just start looking and hopefully find as many things that have wood scraps if possible. That is a spoon. So that is not going to work for what we're going for. But very nice weapons. We got some nice extra weaponry. If we ever need more spoons, we know where to go. But I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a bust in this place. Like, there isn't a ton of uh, items that I'm really looking for in this house. 
compared to what we were finding in Via Corolla. Like, Via Corolla was kind of the bomb diggity, dude. Like, we had all the raid places to go, <gasps> but then I find a box of stuff? Are you kidding me? Okay, now that, that is some goodies. But I do hear another zombie. I knew I heard you. You need to go to sleep, my friend, all right? I have a spoon, and your name is written on it, all right? So we got, what, a few zombie kills? We also got that lady in front of the gate who decided to try to steal our bandages. And now look where she ended up. She's dead. Oh, my God. Okay, so what do we have here? We got a effigy, which gives us gunpowder and sharp objects. We got a hat, which gives us wood scraps and bindings. A skull, which I know gives us gunpowder and wood scraps. And then we just got a bunch of adhesives and bindings that we can get out of these books. So that is something we can keep in mind for the future ahead here. But what I will do is I'm going to leave the spoon there. I'm going to break this glass just so we can have another sharp weapon to use and get two hits out of them. In case there are more Zombros that are hiding inside of this house. But, no joke, I am really surprised that we found a box of stuff. Because, I was going to be honest, I thought this house was going to be a bust, considering how it's been so far. But, finding that box of stuff, man, is a very, very big yes from me, Chief. And we got more zombies over here. Let's just go and try to make some noise. But, that guy is locked in on me, because he knows I am here. So, that is not good. Hopefully, he can't climb up. I don't think he can. He might run through the house. But I'm kind of unsure how all that works if they're actually able to come all the way up the stairs and come and attack me But oh wait a minute a freaking hatchet. Okay. Now we got weaponry Okay, you know what initially I was not very happy with the way this house was But now it seems like we are in a very very good position ladies and gentlemen. We got a hatchet. We got a box of stuff we got all the freaking goods in the world, and I am a happy, happy soul. Anything that can help us just gain a little bit more weaponry for our home, I am all for. But we also have a cereal box, which gives us sugar, spice, and fiber. Can I put you in my backpack? You know what? I'm just going to go and do this. Because over the shoulder just doesn't seem to be doing it for me, Chief. All right. You know, I'm trying to keep that Drake and Josh mentality, but uh, it's just it's not working for me, man. It is not working for me. But let's just go and check each of these drawers because you never know what we can get in these bad boys. We got some more glue, which is going to be great for our upgrades. And we got a huge, huge haul of ammunition. Okay, now we are talking. Okay, so I just got to make sure, though, that zombie doesn't just come up and creep on us again. Because that would not be very cool, my dude. Especially in this dark home, I am not vibing with the feeling here. And we are only a fourth of the way into this place a fourth so i am uh definitely not for this man this is very very creepy i'm not too huge about all the zombies in this one but wait a freaking sec a broken shot oh i thought it was actually a new one i was gonna be so excited for a moment there but let's go and grab another log too so that's gonna be great for wood scraps we definitely need those and then what else do we have here though we just got a ton of zombies being hung all over the trees it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's like one of those, um, what do you call it? It's like keep bad spirits away and all that stuff. I'm sure some of you guys in the comment section will know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I just, I don't know the name of it. But it's like one of those things that, like, be, be away! Go away, Zombros! Like, stay away from my home. You know, but the, the sad part is, is the only person that was actually at this home initially was the, uh, the lady that we literally just killed for bandages. So... <laughs> Um, rest in peace to her. We will not miss you. Okay, and I have things to do and places to be. And we got another Zombro just showing over here, so I'm gonna hopefully just kind of walk past him. Oh, there's no shot, because that one's definitely gonna notice me. Oh my god, okay. Just act like a zombie. Nope, okay, that's not happening. So this one's definitely angry, but can we just go and get through this very, very quietly? There's no shot, okay. You're coming with me. Sleep. Be very quiet. Oh my goodness, dude. And we are almost out of stamina. Let's just hope another one doesn't target us during this. Okay, where was the other one? Something just saw us. It was the one behind us? Okay, we should be alright. We don't need food yet. We should actually be able to, re like, regen pretty quickly. But dude, why is there just so many zombies over here? They're making so much noise, giving away all of my positions. And you are a stinky one. Okay, you know what? 
we do actually have to take advantage of this moment to go and blast you because all the stinky ones will actually drop our main HP and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so let's go and throw this one back up for our flashlight. Oh, you just blocked my bullet. Okay, we should be good. Let's see, what else do we got? A bottle. Can we just break this on you? Oh my god. Nope. Stay away from me. I don't want my max health to go down. Okay. Dude, Memorial Lane is just loaded with walkers. And walkers that are all diseased. Which is not what I'm looking for here. This is a very, very rough start here. Um, can I grab this and just... Perfect. Okay. And that should have been the last of that blade anyway. But I'm pretty sure I just heard barbed wire. Did I hit barbed wire somewhere? Well, we better just go and heal up just in case. We'll go and apply some bandage. I might have just walked into barbed wire, but I'm kind of unsure on how that all happened. We got another bottle, so we're going to break this. Another zombie behind us, too, and he obviously seen us. Oh, my God, dude. We're going to be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of stamina work here. We got a broken shotgun. It just looks like this entire place was kind of overran by the zombies, man. Like, no joke. It seems like for sure the gang that was actually here initially kind of got overwhelmed by all the zombies numbers and there's not really much left to tell other than just like the random loot and the zombies that are all here too. But I really wish I would have brought some food man because my HP is stuck at half and my stamina is also stuck at half meaning that if I get into any like big boy fights we could get in a pretty scary situation for the future to come here. But. We're gonna go and check out this house, see if we can maybe find some extra loot in here. Um, but honestly, man, I am just more or less terrified for what's what I'm gonna be walking into. If it's gonna be an outpost, or if it's gonna be a bunch of zombies. Hello, zombies? Where are you even at? I don't even see you. Oh, you're a runner, too! Holy crap, you are fast. Okay, you stay right there, and you stay quiet. Okay, what else do we have? We have a little clock that we can go and check, and it has... Wood scraps, which actually, I definitely do need those. So I will keep that. And then can I put this on my side? Absolutely I can. Just so I can have some extra weaponry on my hip. And we got some medicine. Oh my god, thank you. This is exactly what I'm looking for. To up my HP. If I can find some dirty bandages, which actually, I'm stupid. I literally have some. Chilling right inside of here. I did have some sterile ones that I already popped, but... We're gonna pop those dirty ones because that should slow heal us over time, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And what? <gasps> Wait, we got a hatchet and a jerky stick? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Jerky! Heck yeah! And this is full. Wait, so I can't... I can't hold this? Oh no, I can put it on my backpack. Nice. Okay, so we are chilling. So we're going crawl right under here. We got an extra jerky stick that we can chuck in the backpack. If it lets me... Okay, we'll go and chuck you right in that corner. Just in case I need those for later uh, upgrades for, like, my uh, medicinal or my recipes. I think that'd be kind of a good good shout. But, oh my god, a broken assault rifle? Now that, that is a really, really good pull to have. But you, are you bad? Are you going to shoot me? I really hope you wouldn't. Um, hello. Hi. Okay, you need meds? I got you. I have meds right, right in my pocket here. Those are the meds you're getting. You're being put to sleep just like anesthesia. All right? <laughs> we, we ain't giving nothing. All right? I have to do what needs to be done. I need to survive 365 days, and you, lady, are standing in the way of that being possible. All right? I understand. You need, like, medicine. You need to heal. You need to look out for your homies. But I need to look out for me. All right? I just grabbed a gun and pointed it at myself. That is definitely not the way to survive. But, uh, yeah. I need to do my thing, alright? I need to channel my inner Miles Morales and just do my own thing. Alright? But let's go and check out... What is this, another... No, that's the same one I think I read earlier. So, let's just go and move through the building and see what other finds we can maybe get. But, I wonder why these guys are just kind of, like, solo in these buildings. It's really weird to not see, like, a huge outpost... And also, this is bad. I'm gonna bring him out to the lights because I don't think I have any extra weapons I can really use against these dudes. Oh, wait, no, I have the hatchet. What am I talking about? Okay, we'll just go and pop the hatchet on these fools. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, I took his arm off? No shot. Can I decapitate too? Okay, no, I'm probably gonna have to go for some overheads. 
Okay, and that actually burns a ton of my stamina. So we gotta wait this out, and we'll just take you out here. Come on, zombie! You are being a pain in my ass! Ugh. Can I do it with one hand? I wonder if the one hand would work better than two hands with this. Or can I, like, tomahawk throw it? Let's see if I can throw this thing. All right, ready? Three, two, one! Oh, it bounced right off his head! Okay, so that tomahawk throw definitely does not work. But can I just grab this and then go in? Okay, we definitely have to two-hand this thing. That is a rest in peace. So we cannot just use it as a one-handed weapon. And I gotta find the sweet spot for getting those hits accurately, man. Because no joke, it feels a little bit weird for, like, my timing to land that thing. So we gotta be careful with how we actually take these zombies out and uh, do it efficiently here. Because we are about halfway through, or actually over halfway of our timer for this uh, expedition that we got right now. Come on. Is there another zombie behind me? No, there's one just... Okay, you know what? You, sir. You guys are being a pain in my ass. So it's time for you to die. I am done with it, alright? I am frustrated. I need to grab loot. And I need to get it now. Because we still have an entire page. Not entire page. But about half a page that we have not finished yet. So I will put you to sleepies my friend. I don't even care. I'm going to be using my ammunition like an absolute madman because I need to clear this place out while I go and look for all the things you have. All right. So do you have any beautiful things like maybe more boxes of stuff, maybe some more ammunition, anything of those sorts would be primarily what I'm looking for. But uh, if you have any other goodies that you'd like to share, I would really appreciate it. This gives us four wood scraps. That is actually a really big pull for wood. So I will keep that. And this looks mighty, mighty conspicuous. I need a key, but where do I find the key to go and open this up? It's like a secret area? Bro, like the most typical, like, hidden room hiding behind a bookshelf, bro. Like, are you kidding me? But it's actually in the game. That's super freaking cool. What the? What was that? Hello? What was that? We got workable metals, nuts, and bolts for the trophy. Oh, and I can't keep it. Shoot, dude, I dropped it. Have I been here already? I feel like I already walked in this home. I must be crazy. Okay, so dirty bandages. We can't store, unfortunately. But that would give us antiseptics and all those other goods. Is there a zombie over here? I'm just gonna go and close this. Okay? I'm gonna close that door. Because I'm sick of worrying in this place. Um, we wanted to do a little bit more exploring, but honestly, I don't know how much more time that we got, realistically. We are full, and we got a zombie just chilling right over here out of view. Two of them, actually. Okay. So, you know what? This is bad. We'll go and blast you. Blast you. But I know that, like, zombies outdoors might actually hear that, too. And if there's more upstairs, we're gonna be in for a situation that probably isn't the most in our favor. Because, man, it is pitch freaking black and I can't see a darn thing to save my life man this is terrifying you know like I thought about you know the walk oh my hello sleepy good night don't come back bye all right but no what I was saying before I was really interrupted by miss zombie over there is I kind of forgot how dark and creepy this game truly gets just because I played a lot more of the other, like, I guess, maps, per se, that weren't as, I guess, you know, dark and creepy and scary. Um, so I got really used to playing in all the light, you know, and I, I haven't really played much of The Walking Dead in these super dark zones, which honestly puts me in a very uncomfortable state. Just because I am not really ready for all the jump scares that are typically pretty common with a game like this. So, yeah, oh my, oh, bro, shut the front door. Okay, uh, we need to drop some goods. We got boxes of stuff out the galore. What the actual heck? Okay, that is three boxes of stuff. And we still have a fourth of our time to go and look around. We got medicine! Oh my god. Okay, it is time. It is time for us to, like, really decide what to get rid of here. It sucks. Because we have a lot of goods. We have a lot of goods, and I would love to keep it. Um, we're gonna get rid of the sharp objects. Because I think we're on an abundance of those. So we should be fine. But I really, 
want to keep the cool hat, bro. I mean, the cool hat's pretty sick, but the jerky stick, honestly, man, we can go and throw that. We really don't need it. I prior like I really need to prioritize just getting more medicine because we're kind of in a state where uh, our medicine's very, very low at the moment. We have a lot of bandages and we have a lot of the healing materials, but we don't have medicine, and that is a major freaking problem. Okay, so I'm going to go and throw this back over there just to see if there's any other zombies that we can maybe distract as we're looking through this little place. Don't find me. I'm snooping and I found a breath mint. Oh my goodness. I am feeling good. Oh my God. Anytime I find a breath mint, my day is just like, dude, it's heightened by like so much. It's like when you get a free pack of five gum. You know what I mean? It's just exciting. It's a good time to be alive. And holy cow, can I grab this? That looks insane. Why is there, like, a huge armor thing just chilling in here? We got ammo, too? We got the candelabra. Okay. Um, we got some more drinks. We got some boxes of blades. We're going to be making a lot of noise for all the zombros outside, which is not good. But we do have sterile bandages, which that is going to easily replace my lighter. Because I would much prefer to have that than a freaking lighter. Okay. So, what do we have? Oh, we got a freaking statue? Oh, this is kind of cool. I kind of want to, like, keep this. This would be kind of cool to collect. Um, oh, man. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the cigarettes. We can always find cigarettes. It is not a rare spawn. This is a one of nine opportunity to find one of those little statues. We got to collect all of those by the end of this. That would be freaking awesome. But only question is, do I continue looking or do I get out of here before the bell starts a ringing? Because once it does start a ringing, your boy's going to get caught in a pretty uncomfortable spot with zombies invading us. And it sounded like I just heard someone talking. Um, what? Oh, no, they're shooting zombies outside. Okay, so that's what's going on here. We got some zombies that are just chilling outdoors, and we got one just in the bathroom, too. Okay, so if we can just try to avoid drawing more attention to us, this is going to be big. Um, and as I say that, I'm probably going to have to go and pistol whip one of these zombies. I keep hearing them just getting shot outside, and it honestly jump scares me each and every single time. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go. It's probably a good time for me to make my leave. So we're going to go back downstairs. Maybe go and walk through this door. And hope that we don't get ourselves killed. Okay? So let's go and open this up. We're just going to peek. Hello. Do we have friends over here? Yes, we do. We have Zombros just waiting to murder us, as the usual, per use. Okay, he is just chilling and walking in our direction, which is not the most ideal. Um, we might actually have to put him out of misery here. Okay, no, he is walking around, so we should be alright on this front. We'll just go and creep by. Try not to instigate anything. Don't see me, desire or disease walker, please. And if I can just keep walking... Oh, he's gonna catch me on the walk. Oh, no. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Do not turn this way. Just keep walking down that alley. Okay. We just need to play sneaky, keep our heads down, and just keep walking. If we can just walk past all these guys and try to save our ammunition and save ourselves from getting really just... Oh, wait, we got some more lumber, too. Shoot, dude. This is such a good pull. Um, Get rid of the sneakers. I'm going to grab this wood. Because honestly, I want more wood scraps. That was our main thing that we wanted to pull. Adhesives are great, but uh, I think we have some other items that can definitely help us out with those adhesives. So wood scraps are our number one priority as we speak. But let's just go and get a little stab of pino on this little guy, okay? Oh my god, no, 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 no. You didn't see anything? Oh, this is bad. Okay, it's got to go down. It's going down now. Be very quiet, and this other one spots me, of course. Let's hope that we don't make too much noise go and bring him back. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. You need to die. Perfect. Okay. So we should be close enough to our skiff to go and run. I hope. Alright? We should be able to go and just run back here. I assume this is where we came from. I'm hoping it was somewhere around here, right? Or can we just go to this spot? Okay, no. This does look good. So we can go and grab this bad boy and let's go and head back home before we even experience the bells going off. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really, really well, like, just paced expedition, dude. We got our loot, 
We got what we were looking for. We didn't have many enemies, like actual people that we ran into, which was a huge plus. We didn't have to worry about wasting a ton of ammo on just other people protecting places. We were just able to go and basically loot up and kill zombies for the most part. So I am super stoked about that. We got a ton of gear in our backpack. And honestly, we should be getting pretty close to being able to upgrade to getting this deep pockets within like hopefully you know this uh this survival session like honestly if we can get up to like day 10 i would say if we can possibly hit day 10 we should be able to get deep pockets by the end of this so i am super happy about that but with that note let's go and place some of the goodies that we actually went and collected so we got some more medicine to go and add to the shelf which is super super good so we'll go and throw that there i also have a brand new statue which i don't know where to really put you so i just i'll put you next to the other one How's that sound? So now we have two of the nine special little statues here. We got some glue that we can go and get rid of. So I'm going to go and chuck those right inside the recycle bin. We got a brand new book that I'm definitely not going to read. We got some cereal, some more medicine, which is definitely going in my little cabinet. We got some lumber for wood scraps. And that actually gives us shafts and fiber too. Okay, so that's really good. We got a broken shotgun. We got some sterile bandages that we can add to the list here. We got a brand new clock. We got a broken little AR frame. We got a pistol. Some more wood scraps, which you need to go inside of there. Thank you. We got some more little uh, photo frames, which is great. We got boxes of stuff, which gives us a ton of items. 16 adhesives, 4 shafts, 12 workable metal, and 15 wood scraps out of that bad boy. I'm also going to go and get rid of that trophy as well because that gives us a shaft, three workable ma uh, material, and also nuts and bolts. And then, not to mention, we have another box of stuff, which gives us six antiseptics, 20 bindings, 10 water, five spice, and five fiber. That one seems to be, like, really heavily, like, inclined to, like, the medical side or more, like, the food side, I would say. So, I guess the boxes of stuff, depending on which ones you get, actually have different, like, items you can find within them. Because that one has 12 gunpowder, 9 workable metal, and 10 nuts and bolts. So out of all the ones that we've gotten so far within like my survival journey, I would say probably my favorite ones have to be the gray ones. Because that one just gives you a wide variety of different items and it gives you a ton of them as well. But we got our skull and then we have this really cool hat that it, honestly, man, I really don't want to get rid of. I would love to keep this, but we do need the scraps early on. So we got three wood scraps and three bindings. And honestly, guys, I think that's basically it of what we have here. We got some extra weapons too. So we can go and place our hatchets right on this end. If it actually lets us, we might not be able to on those other ones. But dude, the fact that we pulled two hatchets out of that, uh, out of that raid, I am super freaking happy. And we didn't even go through our main revolver here throughout that entire time either. So we still have a good weapon to work with and pretty decent ammunition. We still have 30 shots that we can use for these next days coming forth here. But now I really wanna go and check out the workstations and just see where we're looking at in terms of like our upgrade ability because I would love to just see the progress that we made today. So we are at 60 out of 40 for wood scraps and 55 out of 20 for adhesives. That is awesome. In terms of our gun station, we are at 40 out of 20 for workable metal and 44 out of 10 for nuts and bolts, which seems really crazy that we only need 10 of those to upgrade the gun station. But then we go over to the gear station and we have 40 out of 24 for workable metal and 44 out of 24 for nuts and bolts. So I think, to be completely honest, guys, I'm going to go and actually upgrade this because we're getting dang close to being able to upgrade this totally. But... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, we might be able to do this now. So when you go to actually upgrade different abilities for passive, it requires different items for that. So we we can actually upgrade to gear six already. Okay, so we're gonna get deep pockets right off the rip here. This upgrades our backpack with nine more small slots and a entirely new large slot on the other side. So now I have four pages to work with for collecting. Oh my God. Okay, we are in a really, really good spot right now. What about our nuts and bolts now, though? So 20 out of 10 and 16 out of 20 for metal. Okay, we definitely have some more grinding to do, and that took a lot of our wood off of that one. But honestly, I think that was worth it, man. Really, really productive day. We managed to already get the backpack upgrade when I thought it would take up to day 10, but we already got it now. We are fresh and ready for this loot, and I cannot say how happy of a man that I truly am. 
But I just found an extra book. So I guess we'll go and just scrap this for extra bindings. Because why in the heck not? Because I found it and I want to get rid of it. Into the trash can you go. And just like that, guys, that is day numero six. And we're going to be heading off to day number seven and continuing our journey of the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Let's go and drink our sorrows away and wake up in the morning with some more pep in our step. Day number seven, early morning. The available supplies have dwindled and the dead have grown in number. <sighs> there we go. Day number seven is underway. And I... I really need to get better about recording these videos at, like, a reasonable time. I have been recording these videos continuously at, uh, super late times. It just isn't right, you know? Every time I record super late, I'm already so tired and I'm dealing with zombies before I go to bed. You know? Like, that just sounds like an, ult like an ultimate setup to have nightmares at night. But, you know what? I have been enjoying my time on The Walking Dead. It's been a super fun journey so far. But I think for this time around, it might not be a bad idea to bring some medicine just so we can have that for extra you know basically extra support for bringing our health up when we need it and then i might actually also bring some nutra stew just to set up because i mean dude we have nine extra slots that we can use in our backpack now which is freaking legit i am so stoked but i'm also really curious can we go and craft a new blade to use within this raid too see the night shift it comes out as smooth as silk the shafts are four out of 36 oh my gosh and then dude we can make a ton of these actually holy crap well i guess not with workable metal so i guess we can only make one i thought we could make a ton but i will definitely use this night shift because the last time i remember this thing is beautiful for saving your stamina against the walkers dude so i am stoked to go and use that um i'm wondering if i should actually go and craft some other blades too though just in case for some backup so i'm gonna go and get another shiv we're going through that in the backpack and then can we also craft another revolver just to make sure that we have a brand new weapon for what we have planned probably wouldn't be a bad idea so mr other used revolver you're gonna go right back in the a la bus okay you're gonna sit right inside of here i love you love you long time but i want to make sure we bring something that's like up to tip top shape and is not gonna break on me in the middle of one of our uh, engagements. So, guys, without further ado, let's go back and visit another location. I'm thinking for today, instead of just going back to, was it Old Town? No, we went to Memorial Lane. Instead of going to Memorial Lane, we're gonna go over to Old Town and see what that place is like, unless it actually opened up a different path. If we got a different path, like past Memorial Lane, I am more than willing to go and check some of that stuff out, which it looks like we actually did. So we can go either to the ward or we can go to the Bastion? Ooh, both of those sound really, really cool for pathing-wise. I'm gonna go and check out the Bastion. That sounds cool. So we're gonna go and visit that instead of Old Town and see what it has in store. Oh, we already got gunshots right off the start? Was this a mistake? Oh my god, and the weather is just rainy and foggy and gross outside. This just sounds like an absolute beauty to be part of. What a great day to be alive here in The Walking Dead, guys. We got a little piece of paper we can go and check out, which just looks like another note there. Um, actually, can I read that? Is that a new one? Our enemies are weak. They lack conviction, lack purpose. They spread nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. Oh, that was bad. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swans. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Oh my god. Because we are They're guided shooting by so many principles. zombies. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for Ooh, nothing. Scraps. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stand. Is that Georgia. a skull? No more wood. 
All right, sweet. We got some more wood scraps to go and throw in our backpack here and also some more adhesives with the shoe that we got. But let's try not to make much noise, which unfortunately it seems like we did just that. And that zombie's probably going to see us as we go and continue to move forward here. I need to just actually open my backpack and throw the items in that way because that's just so much safer than just trying to drop it over my shoulder. Because I swear every time I do it over the shoulder... It just continuously fails, and I just keep dropping it. So we need to be better about that. Well, let's just go and creep up on the zombie and go and take you out with our little night shift. That was quiet, smooth, and clean. All right, so let's keep that going just the way that we have it. But we also got... Oh, my God. Okay, so this is bad. We got a ton of zombies here, but also other enemies that are waiting for us, too. So this is definitely not the area I want to be in right now. Oh, my gosh. Are they shooting at me? Please tell me that they're not mad at me, right? Are we good? Are we chilling? This place looks like a crazy loot haven, though. Holy Hannah, this looks good. Oh, you know what? We're going to throw that can over there. Hey. Hello. You're dead. Sorry. I have to take care of myself now. All right, I didn't mean to shoot you. It was an accident. It was an oopsie doopsie. I just made a little oopsie doopsie moment, okay? It, I didn't mean to. Uh, my bullet slipped into your face, son! Okay, so we look good on stamina. We look good on our health. I'm feeling very, very good right now. Um, as long as I don't get attacked by those other dudes, we are chilling. I don't think she's mad at me because she didn't see her friend get completely doinked by me. So let's just let's just keep going as we're, uh, you know, walking around here. Maybe I can actually bait these guys. Is there a zombie behind me? I knew I heard you. Hello, Zombro. You need to sleep. And there is just so many in this area, dude. So are you telling me as we keep going, like, in this 365 series, like, each day, these guys are actually going to spawn more and more and more? Like, I thought it was just, like, for the sake of the story, but it feels like the zombies are definitely a lot more, like, apparent at, like, this time. There is no joke. There are just so many roaming around, getting caught up in a lot of these fights. It is a scary place to be, man. But I'm wondering if I can just try to bait these guys over here to come and visit. Maybe just talk and chat. Maybe I can bait them into getting more into the open. And then I can just get a ton of materials inside of this bastion. That would be freaking nice, dude. But zombies, you need to sleep. We got some disease walkers. And are you... Oh, actually, no, you're good. So I can actually stab you. You're fine. This night shift is amazing. I am loving this blade so far. Super, super good stuff. And this zombie might have actually heard me and might actually see me right now. Okay, spooky. Not good. Okay, I need to put you to sleepies. Are you diseased? I think you are. Oh my god, that is not good. Okay. And this one definitely heard me. Can I try to bait you by throwing some stuff? Unless I can actually... Oh, this is big. This is big. She might get mad at me for being in her zone. Okay, you're dead. Sorry, I missed my first shot. That's awkward. But now I have a brand new revolver. Sweet. Thank you for adding to the collection. Not like I don't already have enough of those bad boys. But I want to check out this bastion and really see what they have inside of this zone. Because when I last played The Walking Dead, I was a friendly little tourist. Okay, I went and I wanted to help people. I wanted to be a good man and just treat everyone with respect and kindness and be just a good person all in all. But what that ended up in is just not a very fun and epic playthrough. Okay, what I want to do, right, is I want to go and take advantage of the missed time that I had in this game. Okay, I didn't use guns. I, like, prioritize using blades. I didn't go out and do all this crazy stuff for these expeditions, man. I want to just go and have fun to the absolute extent. And I am loving it so far, dude. And this blade, we definitely need to craft more of those. Because it is incredible so far from what I've seen. Um, we are already a fourth into our, uh, our time here in the Bastion. So that is something to be concerned about as we go and move forward here. Um, Items-wise, we got some antiseptic. Doesn't seem like we got any other gear here other than just the big boxes. I wish there was a way to actually, like, open those to get some more more loot. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's the case. We got boxes of razors. We got sterile bandages, though. Now, that is a really good pull. Just in case we need some extras for when we're getting into fights here. Because I didn't bring really too much more than just what I had initially. And also, it seems like we are in the no-no zone. Because 
that just got really intense for no reason. So I assume we're not supposed to be here, right? They're telling me like, hey dude, you're not supposed to be at this place. This isn't your uh, home to be. So something that we do have to uh, watch out for is probably a ton of enemies as we go and look through this place. Oh my God, hello. Okay, yeah, they are fighting off the Zombros like crazy. There is a lot of mayhem. I got spotted by what? What did I get spotted by? Is there a zombie in here? I didn't see any. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and continue on. We got some liquor, or some alcohol, shall I say, rather. We got some cigarettes. We got some glue, more ammunition as well. Oh my goodness, and a cool little giraffe that gives us good wood, like, wait. Wood scraps and workable metal like crazy. So that's actually a really, really good pull. Um, let's go and get this breath mint in my mouth. Yes, indeed. I like that. I like that a done. Yes, give me all the breath of minties that I definitely need. We got some more ammunition hiding inside the drawers there as well. I'm going to go and grab some matches because wood scraps and gunpowder are definitely something that have been on my list. And I do not mind going and getting more of those bad boys. Okay, this is very, very spooky. Let's see what we can maybe find inside of this place. We got some more dirty bandages. We got some canned meats, which, dude, I would love to have some more proteins. That sounds great, but I think I need to just focus on getting other goodies at the moment. Which, like this, is exactly what I'm looking for. A beautiful box of stuff. Oh my god, we are so freaking lucky. Two raids. Back oh, I did not mean to do that. Is that clean bandages? No, that is the dirty ones. Okay. You should be fine there. But, dude, yeah, two freaking raids back to back. And we find ourselves... Oh, that didn't sound good. Sounds like zombies must be dying over there. Okay, so we need to watch out. We definitely got some other enemies sitting right outside of the place that we are chilling at the moment. So that is a little bit concerning. Because I don't know if they're going to walk back into this home and find me. Because if they do, we're probably going to be in kind of the no-no zone. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to just knife her here. Oh my god. Did she hit me? I think she did. She got one shot straight to my freaking dome. Oh my god, dude. That was not good. I probably should have just, like, actually shot compared to going for the knife kill. I was hoping I could maybe keep it stealthy and not, you know, freak her out there, but it kind of did the polar opposite. I just brought a lot of attention to myself. Let's see. Can I go back and just get a shot? Oh my goodness, give me that shotgun. Okay, this is bad. We have made a grave and utter mistake because now we've alerted everybody that we're like, hey, you know, Mr. Mr. Toasty Man, Mr. Toasty Tourist, he's here and he means biz. He means the business. Oh my god. Please tell me that there isn't more of you just walking up here. Just let me keep looting. Oh, we got medicine. Oh, nice. Okay, and we got Pop Tart, some Insta Nudes. Oh my god, insta nudes! In terms of ramen, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, and then we got our other backpack slots. We're going to throw that in. Is that another egg timer? I kind of want those because those can be really useful for later on. Just for uh, drawing attention of walkers. And then also just for getting rid of scrap. Like, their scrap is really, really important. Um, let's go and open this up, though. Let's see if there's anyone else down here. I freaking hope. Oh my god, okay. We can do this. So let's just go and line this up. Perfect. Another one down. Let's see if there's any other guys inside this house. Dude, they did not watch their uh, their areas too well. I'm not going to lie, man. They have done a very poor job in protecting themselves in this area. Oh my goodness. They had a guy with a sh shotgun upstairs. They had all their insta nudes chilling up here too. Like, dude, of course someone's going to come and sneak up your gutter and come steal all these goodies. Like, are you joshing me, man? Like, it's all just right here. And we are now at the halfway point. So, guys, it is is getting there. It's getting there in terms of our time here. We got a lighter for some more adhesives. I really got to focus on what's our next big grind for things that we are going to need. Like, I'm sure that we're going to need fibers and proteins and all those stuff um, for, like, our food upgrades. But I don't know if we're really going to need that for, like, our gear upgrades. You know, like, my main focus is really just trying to get our gear out of the way, because that to me is like the most important. If we can have some armor just to help protect us in the late game, like especially when the days started getting a lot more difficult, there's a lot more walkers and people that we have to run into, that's gonna be where we need just that extra way of uh, 
protection, but dude, there is no shot we are full already, right? That is already four full pages? Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna go and move on and see if we can find some more people just around this house. Because if I can maybe just try my best to clear this out before we leave, that would be mighty, mighty fine, my friend. So let's go and check this out. We got an extra revolver, which I'm gonna switch that out for a item. Let's see what we got. We got ramen. I'm gonna get rid of my, ooh, no, I definitely need those. Dude, everything just seems good. I'm gonna get rid of my, my food then, and we'll keep the revolver instead. Let's go and move on. Doesn't look like there's anyone inside of the main kitchen area. We got a lighter, headphones. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go and continue. And we'll just sneak by. She shouldn't see the lights. I hope not. She's just looking at her alcohol collection. Kablam! Okay, sleep, right? You stay right there. Awesome. Okay, that was a clean freaking sweep right there. We'll go and actually bandage up just a little bit because we are still a little bit weak, but not terribly weak. Let's go and check inside of the fridge, see if we got any other goods. You're keeping your dog food refrigerator? Oh, okay, no, never mind. It's just pinto beans. Whatever pinto beans are. You got the pinto beans. Uh, what else do we have inside that we can maybe get rid of? We got a ramen. We got a broken shotgun. Dude, I don't like the sound of, like, this ambiance inside of here. This is really freaking creeping me out. Definitely need more bindings. I might just leave the sardines, to be honest. I was thinking about picking them up. But I think we're going to be better off keeping what we already have in store at the moment. But we got matches. I'm making a lot of noise with these drawers. Hello! Toasty's here. Can you hear me? Knock, knock. You want to come and check out your house? There's a ghost here. It's definitely, definitely not Zombros. It's Ghosty Toasty. Ghosty Toasty's home. I basically started a war with, like, probably the worst people to start a war with. It's very, very bad. We got a frying pan just chilling on the ground there in the best fashion ever. Where does this lead? It's the pooper. Okay, now it's super spooky time. We're in the poopy room. We got glue. They got a shot, though. I'm hearing these walkers getting dropped from a mile away, and that scares me. Because if they got assault rifles, especially at this point, that is something I do not want to be taking lightly when we go to fight these dudes. Okay, our ammo is still full, so we haven't shot any of that. Oh my god, they are like living right outside of here too. Can I crawl onto this? Oh my god. Boom. Okay. Nope. Perfect. Two down. Oh man, I love VR so much for things like that. There's nothing else that delivers the feeling of a headshot like that, dude. That is so freaking rad. Oh my god, it's so awesome. I wish you could store the broken, like, shotguns and stuff on the side. It's so weird to me that you can't. Um, we got a lot of lumber. We got all of this. Dude. As much as I don't want to get rid of the Insta Ramen. You know what? We don't have to get rid of it if we actually eat it. Ayo, let's go. You know what? We put use to the ramen. We ate the nudes. We're chilling. We got a zombie just hanging out here. So, oh, that's how they keep the walkers away, huh? Or, like, attract them to the door to just, like, farm off of them? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I need to do something like that at a La Bush. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We got some more medicine, so we'll go and get rid of... Shoot, dude. I will get rid of these matches. We will find more as we go. Sucks to get rid of that gunpowder, because I really want to take advantage of that. But, at this moment, we got to prioritize what's actually going to be probably the most useful for... Uh, Super late run. You know, we can find more. We can find more matches. They're a very easy spawn. But we got ammunition hiding up in here. Hello. And what, glue? Okay, so glue, matches, razors. All the goods that you can imagine. <gasps> Holy shoot. That is bad. Rumor has it. You're freaking dead. You're freaking dead, son. That's what rumor has it. Rumor has it. Ooh. Rumor has it. You're dead. All right, um, let's see. What else do we got? We got more instant nudes. Yes, I would eat some more instant nudes. Beautimus. It drops my HP, which kind of sucks, Major Cajones. But we do need more spots inside of our backpack. And, oh my god, thank the Lord we did. Because we got another box of stuff to go and use. Matches. Okay, I'm very sorry. But I would like my glue better. And we got a fourth of our time still left here. 
I'm honestly debating just getting out because, dude, we had a crazy amount of work that we got done. And another box of stuff. Bro, you can not be joking. Um, if you're actually serious right now, you are tugging on some really, really good cords here. Um, let's get rid of the glue. We do have to get rid of it this time. I think the nuts and bolts out of our, uh, like, egg timer are actually going to prove to be really useful. So I'm going to keep that. Just make sure that we don't make too much noise throughout the rest of this house because we might actually have some more people. And I want to make sure if there are more that we, uh, we kill them. And we get out of here alive because we have so much stuff and I do not want to risk losing it. This is a really good spot to be in today. Like, no joke, we have had a very, very good run on our second day today, which this is, what, day seven? Day seven? Seems kind of unbelievable to already be that late in. We got a little toy robot. We got cans and a Twinkie. Oh, my goodness. And we got those other people in there. Oh, this pan. How much does the pan do? Workable metal and sharp objects. Are you different than this? Oh, it totally is. Okay, so the pan actually gives us a lot more for collectible-wise, which is great. I wish I could just, like, hold that over my head to protect myself from headshots. Like, where it is, like, armor. That'd be kind of, like, swag money. Um, Cabinets-wise, we'll just see if we can find any more boxes of stuff. I highly doubt it. I mean, we've gotten, basically, the best loot that we can possibly ask for. So, I just want to double-check just to make sure if there is something that we're missing. But, honestly, I think we're pretty much... Good to rock and roll, guys. I'm ready to bounce. Um, we we got to find our way out of here. Get out of here, stats. Um, Healing-wise, we're full. I hear some more gunshots, and I don't like it. I'm not going to go through the main way. That just seems like a stupid idea. Ammunition, how did I miss that? Okay. So, I think I came from upstairs. If I remember correctly, I crawled from upstairs from the gutters. I can get back down and get back to the zone where I need to be. There's probably going to be a ton of zombies, but I don't remember, honestly... Where I, uh, oh my god, what is this? Is that, oh, I thought I was gonna safe. But, uh, I'm gonna be completely real, guys. I don't remember where I came from, which kind of scares me a little bit here. <laughs> and my guy's getting a little bit sick, so we need to go and find some medicine, too, when we get back home to actually clear our sickness. Oh my god, and there's a ton of walkers from where we came from. We can take them. There's only, what, like four of them? Okay, so let's go. How much stamina do I have? Let's see. They better not be behind me. Okay. So as long as we can get through this without being spotted by any other enemies that hold this base, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. We got a zombie there, one to our right. We should be able to keep crawling this. As long as it doesn't turn around, we should be able just to make it right out of here and do it pretty smoothly, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, we got the gate over there. I'm going to actually go through this zone just because I want to clear this area first before we start running. Okay, that guy actually turned it in the perfect timing. Oh, no, now he's moonwalking. Man be grooving. He do be grooving, though. Okay, and now it's time for you to die. Okay, shh. You sleep and don't make any sudden movements. All right, you sleep there. Don't make any noises like you're dying noises. I don't need anything else attracted to me. I just need to get back home. I just need to get back home. We've got more sneakers laying around. Where did we come from? Was it right or left? Oh my god. I feel like we came from here. This looks familiar. I think this is homebound. I might be wrong, but I think this is the direction where we want to go. We got that zombie behind us too. So There's no way it spotted me. What? Okay, yeah, this is bad. Did we come from over here? I, Yes, yes, actually, I do remember. Because we came from that alley. So if we just continue to our left, this should bring us right back to where we need to be. Um, is there another area that we can wrap around, or do we have to go past these zombies? Oh, and we got another survivor here. Let's see if we can maybe pop a shot on this guy. No, we might actually just be able to avoid him entirely. Okay, you stay right there. Don't hear anything. And just in case his friends figure out, you're dead. Good night! I gotta go, 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 go. Later. I just needed to pop that man in dip Reno, get back to my skip, and go back home. Holy Hannah, that place is ridiculous. By far the highest intensity I have ever felt 
in The Walking Dead, dude. There was so many zombies. It was dark. It was scary. It was rainy. It was gross outside. But holy dude, we got the haul. Like, just look at all of the goods that we have in our backpack. And we're back home, safe and sound. Oh, you could not ask for a better day to get all this stuff done, dude. Like, we're going to have so much for our upgrades. And I am just so freaking excited. We have our ramen. We have our stew. We're feeling good, man. It is just a good day to be alive. So let's go and throw in our medicine back into our cabinet. We did a very, very good number on our collecting here. We still have our stew from earlier. So I guess for the most part, we really didn't use any of the stuff we brought in. We kind of just popped the stuff that we found throughout our uh, little exploration time that we had. Okay, that's going to bother me. You need to sit like this. So we should have a ton of pills now, dude. We got, what, six pills there. Actually... Add on top of that, we got up to eight now. So we got a lot of setup stuff ready. We got some more uh, bandages that we can go and throw on. Um, we got other sterols here too, nice. And then what else do we have for heals? Is that everything? I think we're good. So now it's time to go and look through all the loot we can get rid of. So we got a huge freaking wood scrap haul. We got like six different ones of these firewood. We got some more sneakers to go and throw in. We also got this beautiful book for bindings, adhesives, and fiber. A ton, and I mean a ton, of broken weapons, bro. We had a crazy pull with that. Also, not to mention, the copper giraffe. That one pulls a pretty good amount of wood scraps and workable metal, which I'm super happy about. Then we got some more glue to go and throw in. I do have this other revolver, which I'm just going to go and throw because, I mean, it's pretty worn out anyway, so we might as well just get the materials out of it. Then we got a box of stuff, which gives us eight adhesives, four shafts, nine workable metal, and 20 wood scraps. So a really, really good pull with the gray one. Do these all have different amounts? 16 adhesives, four shafts, 12 workable metal, and 15 wood scraps. So depending on which ones you get, you actually have a random chance of what they actually have within them, which is a really cool shout to go and keep in mind. We got a egg timer two, which gives us five nuts and bolts and one workable metal. We got another one of those bad boys, a broken pistol, lighter, some glue, another broken shotgun, Broken revolver frames, glue, another box of stuff, which gives us eight adhesives, four shafts, nine workable metal, and 20 wood scraps. Guys, we did very, very, very good. I I'm not joking when I say this. This was an incredible, incredible freaking time for day number seven. We got so many materials. We got a lot of kills in the Bastion, which is a unfamiliar place to us. We pulled out some more medication, obviously. We are now up to eight pill bottles. We have a ton of bandages to go and choose from. And not to mention, we got our food over here. And then if we take a look outside, it's time for us to go and look at our upgrades. Because we might be able to do something here. Um, workable metal, we got 60 out of 45. Uh, shafts, we got 48 out of 5. And then wood scraps, we have 127 out of that bad boy <coughs> level 9 protective gear is not looking as unrealistic as i thought especially with the pace that we've been going this has been incredible so if we want to go and upgrade to get arrows we can spend 20 adhesives and 40 wood scraps but man this could be a tough decision because realistically looking at all these workstations i can get benefit from all of these in their own ways but I generally think our best thing that we could possibly do is trying to get survival of the fittest just so we could have our stamina increase by 25%. So it's tough. Protective gear or do I focus on heals and stamina? It's like it's such a tough decision. So I think for this time around, we're going to go and actually upgrade the survival station because we are very far behind on this. So let's go and upgrade this to level 5 and see what else we got on this bad boy too. So we actually have survival of the fittest. That was level 5, which is great. Okay, and then we got our arrow bundles, so we can go and craft those for the bow. Okay, so now we need to go and get a ton of sugar and proteins. Which, funny enough, I was just talking crap about. I was like, I don't think I'm going to need those anytime soon. And realistically, now if you guys look at it, we are now really behind on collecting our sugar and proteins. So we need to focus on getting those up as well. Our nuts and bolts are feeling still super strong for the gun station, so I might even consider... Going and upgrading that as well. Um, the gear station puts us at 37 out of 35 for wood scraps. What do we need for building? I think we should actually be good to go and upgrade. If we go up to level 7, we get... What? The sheet metal cleaver. Which, that sounds like a freaking hoot to go and try. So, I'm going to upgrade this. 
and see what it takes to actually make this weapon. We need wood scraps, sharp objects, and shafts, which the night blade, or the night shift, we can create a few extras of these too. So I'm going to go and get an extra one of these blades because this thing is an absolute beaut. We have used this a ton in the last one. So I think I'm going to bring the new one in. We will save this other one just for other use if we do need it. I think it's just a good decision to have some like extra durability items, but... Ooh, actually... Maybe it'd be better to keep the one that's actually full here and take this other one in. Because our revolver right now, we're looking pretty good in terms of its health. So we should be able to use this if we have like a really dire situation. And as for like other melee weapons, I don't really think we need them. You know, like we've been pretty dang good for the most part. So I'm pretty happy with the way things have already been. Let's check this out. Herbal medicine is at level eight. So we really need to get this one unlocked so our character just isn't coughing and hacking all the time. As we're going and taking down zombies and I'm sure it probably helps with our stamina conservation so it's definitely something that we need to consider moving forward but while we're at it I should probably pop some medicine just so we can get this opened up and get us all the way up to max health so we are breaking in this bad boy and then I'm gonna pop a sterile bandage too just so we can be all the way full and be prepared for the next day that we got in our hands so without further ado guys we had a very very good day on day number seven and I am really happy with where we're at in terms of the 365 day survival. So without further ado, let's go and drink it away, and go back to sleepy eepies, and wake up in the morning for day number eight, early in the morning. Available supplies have dwindled, and the dead have grown in number. It is freaking time. Day number eight is underway, and I am a happy little man. Okay, I am a happy, happy man. Because we've had a really good amount of progress done in a very short amount of time. I'm debating if I do need to go and bring in some extra food just in case. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea just in case something does go wrong during that raid. Um, I'm going to bring in some sterile bandages and maybe medication. But I feel like we find this so much. You know, we probably don't need it right now. I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> that is the most VR thing I've done in a long time. Okay, so... We got our heals, we got our food, we have our blade. I'm debating if we even bring in an extra weapon just in case. Like, it wouldn't hurt just to have an extra hatchet. Just in case we do have to get, like, some melee attacks out of the way as we're going. But what do we do for our collection? Do we focus on food? Just so we can upgrade our survival station? And plus antiseptics, too. That wouldn't be a bad decision all in all. So we definitely need to get more workable metal. We also should focus on getting a little bit more nuts and bolts, but we're in a pretty good spot as we speak. And then, proteins and sugar and antiseptics. Okay, keep that in mind. Protein, antiseptics, and sugar. If we can focus on getting those in our foods, we're going to be in a really, really good spot. But the question is, do I go back to the Bastion? Because that place was loaded with people, but it was also loaded with a bunch of gear. Because we spent a good amount of time over there, and I'm kind of debating if we might have overstayed... Um, we do have Bywater, which I'm not really sure what Bywater is. I kind of want to check it out. But Old Town's also kind of calling my name. So I'm going to go to Old Town this time. We're going to spice it up. We've already been to the Bastion, so let's check out the Old Town. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are in the Old Town, the Old Town Road, as some would say. And we're going to ride until we can't no more. So now my only question is, I mean, wood scraps would be kind of nice to go and check out, but... We already have people nearby. Oh my god, they're yapping. Hi! I just wanted to say hi! Can I come and... I just wanted to say hi! I wanted to come and visit and see what you have. Oh, these guys are so aggressive. Oh my god. <laughs> like, they have more testosterone than me, man. Like, what the heck? Do you guys hear that? They were just yapping, 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 yapping. Oh, we got some sugar out of this. Actually, that's a good pull. I'm happy about that. We need to find more sugar and the other gear. We got broken revolvers, too, right off the rip. They're just sitting over here. Like, what? Do these people just end up dying? Like, bruh. Okay, let's see if we can distract them. I'm going to chuck a shoe next to them and see if that does anything. Um, we got some sharp, or sharp objects and workable metal out of this, too. Oh, well, that is a bottle. Okay, beautiful. Attract every single walker in a one-mile radius to my exact position. Right? That seems like a great idea. I am so with it. That seems like such a fun, fun idea. Super fun time. Super epic. And you need to sleep forever. Okay? Be dead again. 
You know, I would say, like, I'm gonna make you dead, but, like, they're already dead. So, like, how do you make the dead dead? You know, it's kind of, like, convoluted. The undead is dead. No. Idiots. <laughs> yeah! That is literally my ADHD brain just working in overdrive. I am so sorry, guys. Anyone watching the series, I don't know how or why you are here, but thank you so much. I seriously appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing. Like, this is seriously one of the things I've wanted to do for God knows how long, and I was honestly really scared putting this out there because it's something so new and something that I'm not really used to doing on this channel and it seems like you guys were really really happy with the way it came out and i i put my heart and soul into all the content i make and i just want to say like thank you like i put a lot of love and time into that and to have it received as well as it was just seriously incredible but these zombies need to die all right you back away i saw what you were going for you little spicy man all right you do not come and do that to me when I'm I was having a moment okay I was having a moment talking to my shop I was yapping yappa do yappa ya yappa these yappa these nuts all right I was yapping and uh, I just wanted to chill oh my god wait a minute it feels like this entire place was actually very uh like populated with people but it seems like the people must have gotten actually like attacked by the walkers because it looks like some of these dudes are actually um Oh no, these are definitely just zombies. That one's one of the people that was actually just hanging out here, I think. So you can die. Alright. Alright, friend. You need to die. You need to go sleepies forevers. But I need to find sugar. Alright, I need to get sugar. I need to get antiseptics. What was the other one? Protein, right? Was it protein? I want to say it was protein. That is, like, truthfully what I need to go and find. And these wood scraps too, man. I am never against going and piling up some more of those extras. Because that would be super freaking awesome to have. Um, so let's go back. Is he shooting me? Okay, no, I think he's just shooting at the zombies. I freaking hope so. We got 19 rounds still left to the mag. Well, I shouldn't say mag, but to my reserve. So that's good at least. What is this? Just a trash can? I thought it was like a lootable for a second. I got super excited. Oh my god. Okay, so you are not probably a friend that I want to go and mess around with. Let's go and chuck this revolver over here and try to just attract some noise. Okay, perfect. And we're just gonna go and uh, maybe do some work over here. Because there are a ton of enemies just kind of chilling out in this area. Will he shoot me if I keep walking? Is this like a safe zone? Okay, it definitely does not seem safe. Because there are some Zombros already hanging over by this side. But I will put you to sleep, okay? And I need to find a way to go and break into this place because this, this is where we need to be. Like, no joke. That looks like the ultimate, like, safe haven for tons of loot, too. Like, oh my god, there's going to be a ton of people in there. There's going to be a ton of loot. But a lot of risk is involved with what we're going to be doing here. We got sugar. Okay, this person's actually talking smack. Here. Go and, go and investigate that bottle. All right? So we got, what, two people? One to the left, one to the right. Okay, if I can just go and sneak by, go and say hi. Hello! Go and focus on the zombie. Yeah, focus on the zombie. Hopefully that guy didn't see me. Okay, let's see. I got another soda can for more sugar. That guy didn't see me? Let's go! Okay, so we can go and continue. We'll grab some extra, extra items to loot here. We got a broken revolver, which I can maybe attract them over. Okay. Let's see if we can just go and bop this man. You need to die, my friend. All right? I am so sorry. But you need to die. All right? I know you're a little mad ski at me for killing your friend. Oh, so you say. So you say, lady. All right? Let's see where you're going to go and peek here. Oh, my God. There's no way we hit that. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, can I climb on top of this? I wanted to climb up this telephone pole. Or, oh, you can just, oh, fancy. Okay, no, that doesn't work. I was thinking you could maybe climb all the way to the top using that method, but that does not seem to be the method that I'm gonna be using here. Um, do we have other weapons? Oh yeah, the hatchet, perfect. Okay, let's put this to use. Perfect. Okay, and you're gonna get blasted, my friend. We got, what, one more swing left in us? Oh, nice. Okay, 
That was really good use of that. What, we got some more sugar? Perfect. This lemon lime soda is just freaking everywhere, man. No joke. But I am not complaining. It's exactly what I need. So let's go and creep inside of this place. We're probably going to be getting ourselves into a pretty spooky situation. But I am all... Oh, my God. Okay, one down. Hopefully they don't come and investigate. As long as I just stay kind of down and work our way super slowly through this, we're going to be in a really good position. More lemon lime soda. Got another lighter. Some more zombies are going to be coming behind us. Should probably just go and close that just in case. Keep it super, super quiet. Just so I can really lock in on all this. Um, healing wise, we should be pretty good. I don't think I really need dirty bandages, if I'm being like completely honest. But I will take them. We got more bindings off of that. Any other really big goods that I'm going to, like, prioritize here. So we got nuts and bolts. Oh, wait. Actually, these are both egg timers. Oh, that's big, big. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you can craft some extra special stuff with that, too. Um, proteins. Oh, dude. This is exactly what I need, man. Canned sardines. We are living in luxury, ladies and gentlemen. Living in luxury. And we got some more sugar and workable metal. Even some water in case we need it later on. <gasps> Box of stuff. Oh my god, bro, what is going on today? We are, like, we have literally just been blessed. Day by day, we have been pulling more and more goodies, and I cannot say just how excited I truly am to be finding all of it. Just right here as the tourist. All right, it's been great. It's been awesome. We got some bindings, nuts, and bolts, and wooden scraps. Sweet. So we'll go and keep that little clock for us. Um, oh my god, what the freak? I'm going to show your face here. Yeah, I'm showing my face here, and you're showing your face to the ground, because you're dead, idiot. Don't ever duck smack to me again. You know, I, I do apologize, though. I should have had a little bit more common decency. I I didn't realize you were taking a deuce, all right? If I knew you were taking a deuce, I probably wouldn't have walked in that room. I just heard the little stinky flies, and I was like, oh, Zombro, better go kill him. But instead, it turned out to be you, and it's just unfortunate. It's kind of a crappy situation. Literally and figuratively and there are shots going on outside very very closely okay, One down is there another guy in here? I think we are clear sweet. Give me that shotgun, baby I will take that and we're gonna use that for our future here um, box of razors for sharp objects We don't really need those right now. We're pretty pretty loaded. Ooh, we got a picture frame nice Got some books some other goodies I just hope that they don't creep up on us, because that would kind of suck. Um, okay. Lighters. Adhesives we do need, right? I feel like we do need adhesives. Wine bottles. I will take one extra wine bottle, just in case. It's not, like, it won't hurt to just have that. Um, what do you have? Sharp objects, shafts, and workable metal. Candlesticks are nice, then. Okay. Oh, my God. And they are very close. That was, like, concerningly close where I heard that. That actually kind of scared me, if I'm being real. Um, workable metals. Okay, sweet. Throw that in there. Is there anything I can, like, grab off the top of there? I was hoping I could, like, maybe remove it and just check it out. We got another frying pan. Actually, this probably gives us a shaft, too, doesn't it? Binding shafts. Okay. Might as well take the frying pan with us and go and use it just in case if we do get into a pretty picky situation where they are shooting us like crazy. One hurts. Uh, we are now halfway. Oh, my God. Okay, they definitely saw me. Let's see if I can just go and get a lucky pop. Perfect. Is there another one? Oh, he might have heard me outside. Shoot. Is he going to come and investigate? Oh, that zombie's there. Shoot, dude. Okay, boxes of stuff. Broken items. I do not mind. I do not mind indeed. I just want to find more boxes of goodies. Preferably sooner than later. Medical tape. Yes, please. We need some more antiseptics. <gasps> and another hatchet. Oh, my God. You are just blessing me right now. I feel hashtag blessed. Oh, my God. Broken revolver. You're mine. Wait, what? There's no way we're full. Bruh. Okay, yeah, that's bad. So, we already got all of our goodies. Um, it's good and bad. It's good because we found loot, and we obviously have all of it. But it's also bad because we have too much junk. And I mean, too much junk. All right, what is this, dude? It's like a, it feels really creepy in here. I don't like this. I feel like oddly uncomfortable. 
We got a little toy. We got a spoon. Any other stuff in here? Is that a breath mint? Did I see a breath mint? Tell me that's a breath mint. Oh, it is! Score, baby! Yeah! Let's go. We got a freaking breath mint. Let's go, baby. Each dime. We got a shaft, workable metal. Okay, so the candle labra is very similar to the other one, too. So we can we can keep our eyes out for that for both camp. Oh, they are yapping. Okay. Let's go and creep through here. Oh, that is yep. Let's not go out there. Okay. Oh, they're like literally right outside of there. Oh my god, we got more glue. Can we play the piano? I wanna play the piano, bro! Let me play some play some tunes for the boys. Wait, also pictures wise, these are really good for wood scraps and nuts and bolts. Yeah, I need to grab some of these. So Let's get rid of... Shoot, dude. All this stuff is so good. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat this so I can get full on stamina. Which, I mean, it's probably not the best decision, but it does free up a spot for us. So, we're going to throw that in. Heals-wise, we look pretty much full. So, we should be okay that way. Oh, my God. Wait, are they just right up here? Holy crap. One down. There's another one here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go and reload. I think they were inside of this other room, too. If I'm not mistaken. Unless he was just shooting at zombies. Hello? Are you taking a bath? Can I come and take a bath with you? I came to take a bathy poo. It's a poo with a bath. You get it? Bathy poo? Okay, please, give me goods. I want to find some more boxes of stuff if possible. And also more sugar. More sugar. What else would actually... Ha oh, wait, that probably doesn't have anything, does it? No, it still does. Okay, even if it's empty, it still has goodies in it. Okay, so what do we get rid of? We have wood scraps. The shoe-wise, honestly, man, let's get rid of the shoe for now. We do need to focus on sugar. But what other items are really good... For sugar con- Ooh, shoot. Okay, you definitely saw me. There's some fines, huh? So you say. I have a fine for a bullet in your head! Haha! -ha. Later, idiots! Ooh, this gives good sugar. Twinkies are the meta. Oh. My. God. Um, matches. Okay, yeah. Get rid of the matches. Or, uh, cigarettes. We got glue for adhesives. Nothing inside of here, unfortunately. Just more glue. Okay. More Twinkies? Oh, let's go. Score, score, score after score. Um, Medical tape. I need that. I need it. I need it. So let's get rid of the wine bottle. Not make too much noise. Actually, you know what? I think I can probably put that in my other slot. And we will grab the Twinkie and throw you right inside of there. Awesome. So we need... You know what? I just realized we probably could have got something out of that... Uh, out of that breath mint. Instead of eating it and being like so instantaneous to consuming it, I probably could have used it for scrap now that I look back in hindsight. Uh, proteins, good. We definitely do need that. So I'm going to get rid of. Bruh. Um, guess it wouldn't hurt to probably get rid of the clock or the frying pan. Which one's going to be worse? The nuts and bolts and wood scraps are nice, but I do need to focus on protein. That is our run today. So, let's keep at it, boys. Let's keep at it. We're doing pretty dang good. What is this? Dog treat. We get proteins and fiber. I don't know if we need fiber. It doesn't seem like so far fiber has been as much of use. Like, I'm sure it probably will be for some upgrades, but that's going to be in the future. But, yes. Okay. This is good. Um, let's get rid of the lighter for now. We will keep this because it has protein, waters, and fiber. So, that is a good, good pull. That is matches. Where did my thing go? I just had it, and I dropped it, and it went somewhere. Did it roll under the bed? Did I seriously do that? Am I that talented that I rolled my frickin'... I did! Bro, you gotta be kidding me. I rolled these beans under the frickin' bed. Okay, we got more glue. We got a pillow, which this actually has bindings of wood scraps. I didn't think they had anything before when I picked them up, but it looks like you can actually get stuff out of the pillows. So that is good to know, too. Um, okay, so we got our spoon. We got some medication. Let's go right back to this room and just see if we... Oh, yep, that is... Oops, sorry. Um, Okay, just don't mind me. I'm just going to go and... Pixie doodle. Oh, knock, knock. Anyone else there? Hello. I'm in your home. Home invasion. Kapuya, kaboom. They are literally right outside of here, too. 
Sharp objects, workable metals. Okay, there is some good stuff that I could definitely benefit off of using here, but man, I think we are definitely getting to the point where we need to probably start heading out. Um, we've gotten a lot of kills. We found a decent amount of items. We got our sugar and a lot of the stuff that we were really, really looking for initially. So I'm really happy with the amount of progress that we got done. But the matter of it is, is can we make it out alive? Right? <gasps> Dude. Oh, you gotta be kidding. This looks like a... Wait, there's a safe! Can we find a code somewhere? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna get rid of one of these candles. And we're gonna keep that box of stuff on us. What else do we have? Matches or cigarettes. Okay, please don't shoot me from the back. I'm just looting your house. Don't worry about me. Okay, we got more sugar. This is great. I'm gonna get rid of... I gotta just make a choice. We got wood scraps. Okay, it would be nice to keep them. But, let's just be honest here. We have a ton of those already. Um, okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go and check the rest of this and see if we can find anything else worth of our time. And then if we can't, probably just about... It's probably good for us just to dip, but I need to figure out how to get the safe opened. There must be like some type of quest or something eventually that I can finish, but I'm just not accessible to that as of yet. I'm going to make my way back downstairs, work through the kitchen, and hope that we don't make an oopsie with another encounter. Okay, if we just walk out, I'm sure these other guys just won't mind. They'll just kind of like shrug it off like, hey, no one was here. Hi, Taurus. Nice to meet you. They won't shoot me or anything. Okay, be very quiet. Sneak past. Okay, zombie, you just stay right where you are, okay? I'm gonna just walk right to this end. Try not to make any noise. And we're gonna get out of here before the bell even rings, dude. Good stuff. Oh my god. Oh my Lanta. It has been a beautiful time to be alive here in The Walking Dead. Day number eight has been pretty dang successful, man. We went out to go and get proteins and sugar, and we did just that. We got Twinkies, we got Diller Lights, we got the soda, we got the beer, we got the good Mick goodies. And I am just a happy little man. Um, this is bad. Okay. You need to back up. All right, I'm going to save this. I think I can probably just run. I got pretty good stamina, so we should be able just to run away from this and just get back to our, our home skiff. Where was that exactly? <laughs> Where was that place again? Was it over here? Okay. I want to say we should be good over here. So we're going to throw you to block that, man. All right. And get me the heck out of here. Is this the zone? Or am I just walking to a death place again? Okay, no. This looks familiar. I think if I remember correctly, we run right around this left side. And this should be homebound. Right? Left side? Or was it actually just right over here? It might just be behind this place. Okay. We gotta not run so much because we might actually get out of stamina and get ourselves busted by zombies. So let's uh, let's be smart about this. Let's just go and make our way to the skiff, be smart, bring our goods back home, and call it a freaking day, baby. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the old town. and We did a really good job. I am a happy little man, dude. No joke, today was a great day. We set out and we conquered. We killed a lot of enemies, got a ton of loot. We got more boxes of stuff, which is great. Um, I was hoping to find at least a few more of those. I think we only found what? I mean, I guess we did find two of them. That is still pretty dang good compared to what I was even doing in the first days initially. So, honestly, man, I'm pretty happy with the, the way the progress has been. But let's just go and check out our loot haul of what we have for today. Because we needed to get a ton of sugar, so that's what we really focused on. So we got a Twinkie, which gives us three sugar and one fiber. We got a little soda can, which gives us sugar, workable metal, and water. We got some glue, dirty bandages, got some egg timers to go and throw in. We got a little can sardines. We got a dealer lights. We got a box of stuff, which gives us eight adhesives, four shafts, nine workable metal, and 20 wood scraps. Really good pull for wood scraps. We got another Twinkie to go and throw in. We got some P Pinto beans, Pinto beans, which gives us protein, water, fiber, and workable metal. We got some photos to go and throw on. We got, oh, dude, these medical tape ones are awesome because it gives us bindings and antiseptics. Um, we got canned tuna. We got a broken shotgun. We got some medication to go and throw on the shelf. Thank you very much. I knew we were going to find some more. We got a regular photo that we can go and salvage. We got a candlestick. We got a broken revolver, a frying pan. 
We got some glue, some more medical tape, and lastly, some more boxes of stuff, which gives us 12 gunpowder, 9 workable metal, and 10 nuts and bolts. Wait, actually, that's not even it. We got an entire other page. We got we got wood scraps for days. Oh my goodness, we got more lemon lime soda, Diller lights, actually three Diller lights, and more lemon lime soda. Okay, so I lied, guys. We had a lot more than I thought. And then, plus, we got another brand new hatchet to go and add right into our collection. Can I actually throw you on this end? There we go. Are these both actually full? Oh my god, dude. We got two brand new hatchets added to the freaking armory. We got three pistols that are pretty worn, though, to be completely real. These are definitely worn out a bit. We got a shotgun. We got a bow. We got, dude, so much stuff. And I'm actually almost tempted to eventually just bring, like, one of the shotguns along in case I have, like, an oh shit moment. And I really need to have something as, like, a backup. It wouldn't be a bad idea just to have that there. But I really want to put to use of that fire axe, too. That'd be a really fun weapon to go and try out. But uh, we got some extra little blades, too. But, man, I just want to check and see how we did for progress on our workstations, man. Because this was big. This was really, really big. Um, we did 16 for protein and 20 for sugar. I kind of wish we would have done a little bit better than that. I was hoping we'd be able to upgrade off of what we had. But a lot of the items that we were pulling for sugar and proteins were the ones that only gave us, like, plus one. So it is to be expected. I mean, with the amount of soda cans I had, I probably had, like, 10 soda cans. So, it wasn't doing a lot of work for those sugars. But, uh, we do have 45 workable metal and 88 nuts and bolts, which is good, so we can still upgrade. But, we do not have enough for the gear station. We do need to collect more workable metal. So, I think, this time around, I'm not gonna focus as much on collecting, like, the proteins and sugar, just because it takes up so much space in the backpack, and it's not as much gain. If I can just get lucky with, like, those boxes of stuff, and maybe pull, like, some sugar and protein in it, that would be like the most ideal situation. But while we're at it, I might go and upgrade the gun station just so, ooh, actually no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna craft more ammunition because we need more for a revolver. Because what are we even at? I mean, if I go and check, we're at 14 rounds. Yeah, it was a good idea that we crafted more because we are definitely getting lower on that point. So let's go and craft some of those. Um, we will also craft a brand new revolver just in case we do need it because this one Oh my goodness was getting pretty dang low. Oh wait, so these are both actually worn. Okay, sweet Actually, I'm gonna bring this other one in and then I'm gonna throw my really broken revolver Instead of here. I really don't see a purpose of using these um, This one's still about halfway. This one's almost broken and this one's almost broken Okay, I don't think it would hurt to just go and get rid of these Just so we can get some bindings and workable metal out of that I mean, honestly, I think that's probably our best decision so far. And then we have a shotgun, which has 50 rounds? Oh, we've been collecting. Okay, so I'm going to bring a shotgun along for our next journey, because I don't think it would hurt to just have that as backup. But guys, we did good. We got medicine. We stayed healed up. We haven't gotten a situation where we've been, like, super close to dying. So we've been very, very strong in this series. Without further ado, let's go and grab our flask and drink ourselves to sleep and wake up for the next day. Day number nine, early morning. The available supplies have dwindled and the dead have grown in number. All right. <sighs> Guys, we're getting close. We, I, I shouldn't say close. We have, what, 350 some days left? 356? Okay, so let's go and stock up for our next day here. Would it hurt to bring some meds? I mean, we already got bandages. I don't think we're going to need medicine bottles. We haven't been using those for the most part, so I think we're okay on that front. We got two revolvers to go and keep, which is super nice. But I feel like we had another blade that we could use. I mean, other than just the kitchen knives, I feel like we had another one of those, like, night shift ones. But we must not, man. Okay, so we need to go and uh, maybe craft another one. No, no, we do have an extra one. Okay, sweet. I should keep this. And then this also shows us all the stuff that we have. So we have a ton of fiber, a good amount of water, proteins and sugar are pretty dang low, we need to get our spice up too, but dude, we are looking pretty dang good on the other parts of the board here, like pretty even for the most part, other than obviously like the shotgun frames and uh, rifle frames, but dude, this is really good for bindings, gunpowder, all this stuff, I mean maybe we do need a little bit more gunpowder, that wouldn't hurt to have. But, man, this looks really, really strong. So, I think for this time around, we're just going to focus on the big haul. Like, I want to just get really good items. And if sugar and stuff comes along with it, great. 
But for the most part, I just want to make sure I pull good loot. Because those soda cans are just so not worth it. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It took up so much of my space. And it wasn't really doing much, if I'm being completely honest. Like, it just felt like I was just eating up positions in my backpack to get, like, maybe one tick of my sugar up. So, we definitely need to focus on other things a little bit better there. I could go and adventure to the rampart and try a new place. But I really feel like there's so much more I need to check out at the old town. So, you know what, guys? Let's go and check out the old town once again. So let's just keep this in mind here. We got what? Um, we got just a regular heal. We got an extra revolver, which actually I'm going to go and switch this over to be in this position. Just so I can have that on the same menu. We got an extra blade to our left. We have a pistol to our right. Okay, and then an extra shotgun just in case things get a little bit freaky as we move through this. Um, we could get some more bindings and adhesives out of this. I will keep the shoe. Um, but I definitely want to focus on just more things that give us a ton of loot at once. I don't think it would hurt just to get really far ahead and just play super smart on just, like, the really heavy hitter items compared to just picking up, like, you know, these small boxes and other things like that. Um, that is awkward. I meant for you to go the other way, but, uh, looks like you're going to have to die here, my friend. All right, you're going eepies. You're going to go super sleepy eepies, and that's just how it is sometimes. All right, I'm sorry. But, uh, zombies or zombros, you just, you gotta, you gotta not be here, alright? Do you see me, brother? Okay, go and get your shoe. Yeah, go, go to the shoe. Shoe, dude. Shoe, shoe. Hey, how's it going? I, uh, just came to say hi. Um, hopefully you guys don't harbor any bad feelings. Okay, sorry, man. Wait, you need to die, alright? I don't know where your friend is, but, uh, you have to, you have to be gone forever, alright? We got an extra revolver that isn't broken either, which is super cool, too. Um, they are killing zombies, it sounds like, right now. Okay, so let's just go and creep in. See if they see me. Perfect. Kabuya! Let's go. Good freaking stuff. One shot, one kill. And also, someone's dying to a zombie right now, which is not very epic. Um, we got glue. We got a screwdriver, which I will keep that for sharp objects and shafts. That does not hurt to have. We could get a bunch of adhesive this run, too. Like, honestly, man, I wouldn't be too against doing, like, a... <gasps> oh, my God. More boxes of stuff. Oh, my God. You are just treating me too darn well. And I love you so very much. Holy crap, dude. Like, I'm not kidding you. We have probably had the most luck in this video alone than I have in the entirety of playing The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Like, out of all the time that I've put into this game, series or not... I have never had it this freaking good. Like, I am getting treated to an absolute treat. I don't even know if that's the right way to say that, but I have been very well treated uh, today, man. Like, it has been a very, very good week in The Walking Dead. Like, no joke, man. We've been finding the goods, and it's just been, it's been awesome. And we got a holy bibble! Look at this. We can get bindings, wood scraps, and adhesives. I think I'm going to leave that one out. I'm going to be completely real. I don't think we really need it. But where do you lead? <gasps> Another hatchet. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my shoot Bruh, you just literally popped a shot at me and you're saying I don't look tough. Oh, is it? Looks like it's mine now Shunny boy. Watch your chick, but you know what I meant. All right. How could you do such a thing though? You literally just shot at me when I was just walking around scouting your house like <sighs> I get it like I understand but, like, dude, why'd you have to, like, shoot like that, man? It kind of scared me a little bit. kind of scared me, you spooky, spooky chick. Oh, my God. Okay, where's your gun, though? Oh, okay. So, they are upstairs, and they are, like, literally right up there. Okay. Um, Let's find a way to possibly distract them as I go back up. Oh, my God. They are actually probably in a perfect time right now to go and check. Where are you at? Please don't shoot me here. I just want to continue up. <clears throat> no, my God. Oh, I'm getting shot. This hurts. This hurts. This hurts. You must be oh, your face that's bad. Here. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Can I heal? Holy crap, these guys just annihilated me. I had no ammo. Okay, so we need to get back in there and uh, 
challenge these dudes. Holy crap, why did he... Did I just stab myself? Ow? How did I even do that? I think I just stabbed myself in the guts. Okay, I'm gonna switch this out, because this one's actually really worn. I don't want to take the risk of possibly dying while having that out, so... Let's go back in. See if we can find these dudes. There's so many shots going on. Or so many shots going on. Where's this guy at? Where'd he go? Hello? Where'd you run to? Were they chasing me? I don't know where they went. Okay, this is bad. They could be anywhere and everywhere at the same time. You're dead. Good night. Sleep tight. And I will let the bed bugs bite, all right? I'm not even going to wish you good because your friends tried to kill me. They tried to murder me first. Okay. Well, actually, I guess I kind of started. I came into your guys' base and kind of started to push, you know, push onto you guys a little bit. And I know there's just a lot of tension right now. It's a little bit awkward. I'm not going to lie. But I just want us all to be friends and live live in harmony, but it doesn't seem like that's what you guys want. So I'm gonna eat this breath mint and nothing's going to stop me. Okay? Suck it. Idiots. Okay, what do we got? Canned meat! That's some protein. And we got some 9mm rounds, which that is really good for whenever we decide to go and upgrade to some better, uh, better weapons in the future. Okay, I will take the candles though. This doesn't seem like a bad bad thing to pull. So I will keep those, but we definitely need to watch out because these guys are targeted and I have no idea from where. Um, is there a different place I can maybe crawl around in this house? Okay, nothing here. Like, I want to climb to the top from a different angle and possibly explore that way. Because I hear them screaming and yelling, but I just, I don't see them. You know what I mean? Like, they're somewhere around here. I just don't know where. I feel like they probably all ran upstairs, to be completely honest, to get a vantage point. But, frick, man. Talk about a spooky time to be alive. And I don't know how I made it out of there. I thought I had more ammunition loaded in my, like, in my revolver. But that was just, it was definitely not true. Um, okay, so this, wait, these guys are just chilling outside. Okay, let's see here. Where are you shooting from, huh? Where you at, punk? Try to shoot at me again. Oh, shoot, you're actually there. Please don't kill me. Oh my god. I am going to die. I am going to die. Oh my god. I gotta go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so bad. Okay. We gotta go. Let's go. Okay. We need to leave. We need to leave now. I made a huge mistake. I got a little bit too greedy on this run. Go. Okay. Run. Run. Do not shoot me. Do not shoot me. Do not shoot me. Do not shoot me. Oh my god. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. How are we looking here? I don't even know if we got a lot of gear, but this might this might be a short day, if I'm being completely honest, guys. This was not good. We don't have the heals for this. I, I don't even think I brought extra bandages for uh, for this run. Yeah, we gotta go. Um, no. Where's my skiff? It's not here? Holy crap. Where did I... Okay, it's on the other side. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna grab some more wood, because why the frick not? We can store it. Okay, we gotta go. Early day, early day. Yep. Woo! That was scary. Very, very spooky. Okay. We need to wait to go there. I have my... Bro, I have my old crap gun. Why did I not use my old crap gun? I literally have a shotgun. We didn't pull, like, anything today. Just because I took such a... Oh, man. Can I go back? Does it still let me go, or is it, like, too late to go back? It's probably just... Yeah, not safe at night, and we can't travel. Shoot, so that's gonna be it for night number nine. That was a short one, but, dude, I'm just happy that we came out with our lives, because we are legit at, like, not even 10% of our HP right now. That is spooky. We were just playing super, super stupid. We were missing a lot of our shots. Zombies were just going in like crazy, and we just, man, we, we needed to play that a lot better. We, we got a little bit too, uh, too careless and reckless with everything there, but we did find another hatchet, which is great. This gives us six sharp objects and a ton of wood scraps, so I might consider eventually scrapping some of those, because we're getting a ton in our collection. But let's just go and throw our revolvers in here. 
We got, uh, actually quite a bit of these bad boys. Um, we got some more firewood, a sneaker, box of stuff, which gives us eight adhesives, four shafts, nine workable metal, and 20 wood scraps. So, dude, we are getting wood scraps out the wazoo, which is awesome. We're gonna be looking good on that front. Uh, cereal-wise, that actually gives us sugar, spice, and everything nice. We got some photos, some canned meat, a candlestick, some glue, a candelabra, whatever that is, another candlestick, and some more firewood. So, I mean, realistically speaking, we didn't, like, have a complete bust. It wasn't awful, but it just wasn't our best survival, I would say. You know, like, we could have done a lot better for, uh, for that night. But in terms of, like, our actual collectibles, let's just go and see what we all have. Because it does show on this chest. So we got, what, 24 pistol frames, 8 shotgun frames, a few rifle frames. Wood scraps are almost getting back up to 100. Nuts and bolts are looking pretty freaking good, too. Workable metal's in a good spot. Um, sharp objects is at 50. I would like to get that a little bit higher. And then everything else here, too, like adhesives, shafts, all that stuff are looking very, very good. We just got to get our gunpowder up. Our gunpowder is super, super low. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Let me go and pop some medicine, though, because uh, I'm a little bit concerned with how close to death we were on that run. That was a little bit uh, too spooky for me. I'm not going to lie. And we are breaking into our collection pretty deeply at the moment. Oh, shoot. Do we craft more sterils? I mean, I could just use some of those dirty ones, though. I mean, it just takes a little bit longer to heal. But since we're at the bus anyway, it wouldn't hurt just to have that. So we'll go and heal up with some of these dirty bandages. But my only question is, do I craft some extras? It uses bindings, adhesives, and antiseptics. I'm going to actually do this. I think we do need more, and we're going to benefit a lot off of just having some extras. So I'm going to craft about five extra bandages just so we have these for safety precautions. All right, we're not going to bring them to our next, um, like, our next day, but we'll just have it for, like, backup for when we come back to the bus and we need a collection and all those sorts. So we do have some more bandages, which is super, super good. We'll go and throw that right onto the file. And I think this time around, I'm probably going to bring a set of two bandages instead of one. Because that was just freaking scary, man. I I really should have been playing that reckless. That could have been easily the thing that put us under and made us die during the series, bro. Like, I need to play a lot safer. I need to play a lot safer, a lot smarter, and just keep that in mind. But... While we're at it, since it was kind of a shorter day, I figured this might be a perfect opportunity for us to go and continue our story. So I'm going to go and bring this, like, little slab thing that we found uh, at one of those locations back to the graveyard here. And we're going to drop that in and just progress the story a little bit. It's not, like, my number one focus. I really um, am just focusing on just getting stuff done throughout the days. But at moments like this, when we don't have a super eventful one, we might as well just go and take advantage of something like this to go and, uh, you know, maybe progress this just a little bit. So... We're gonna go and grab this bad boy. We'll chuck it right inside the coffin. And hopefully, this is all that she needs. May Benoit has the waterfall key. Perfect. Find it. Get it. No reserve without it, understand? Mama's through fucking around with this. Snag Ombra if you have to. Can use the fucking brat as trade bait. This must happen. Going to have to expand this list otherwise. Georgia. Okay, so it says, pass the time until the lantern is lit. So it looks like our next quest, we probably just have to go to bed until it lights back up. So we're going to go and do that. We'll go and put our head back to, uh, back to sleepies, okay? And we're going to go and head off to our last and final day of this episode. So I am really freaking stoked. Guys, scary freaking day. We almost died, but we got a good amount of goods. So I'm really happy. Let's go and pass the heck out and move on to day Numero den. Early morning, the available supplies have dwindled, and the dead have grown in number. Hello? Oh, we got Mr. Casey, the man. I've got a situation. Hello, Please. we got the man is yapping. Um, I'm I here. I can hear you. What is? It? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I'm getting desperate, so um, I I need to take a chance uh, on you. Stepping away for a bit. Take oh. care of your business. Whoops. I'll wait. No, keep talking. Keep yapping. I'm sorry. I thought I could walk around the bus. All right. Go on. All right. Let's get back to it. Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... 
I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I'm getting desperate, so um, I, I need to take a chance uh, on you. W what do you think? Can, uh, can you help me out? Please? Let's see. Go on, you got nerve. I'm gonna go go on. You've got my attention. We'll work with him. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair to me. You're obviously desperate or sure. Let's just, let's keep him in the know, right? We'll get information from him. What do you need? And then eventually we'll kill this man. A pump flow I want his goods. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. We'll just play it super and nice, super chill. Junk to them. The problem is there's and then we're gonna a take potential all stuff. showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody quickly. Let's see, anything else? All right, I'm in. I'm ready let's to do, do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the okay. Tower Patrol has it at their camp. Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, Reclaimed are nearby. So you Red House on Memorial... Oh Wait, my god, that is literally the place that we went to that had a ton of enemies. Me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. Dude, do we do that? Because, man, if I remember, Memorial Lane was, like, the super crazy place that we went to. That, uh, that we barely came out with our lives initially. Like, definitely not as close as, like, night number nine there. But, uh, yeah, it was it was close regardless. Ooh, and what's this? A picture of Henry and the man who killed him. Oh, my God. That's a little creepy. I don't know how I feel about that one. That is a little bit weird, my friend. But let's go and investigate the coffin. See what goods we got over here, too. And then we'll go and continue on. I gotta debate if I want to go to Memorial Lane and test my luck or not. Because that is a little bit spooky. Let's go and investigate this. I know Omri is dead. And I know that for the time being, you stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person. And there is a lot of wrong out there. But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat. Little See if chatterina. we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things out of that last tower cache. Well, there's more where that came from. As Ooh. long as nothing happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied you are alone, you will see me. Okay, well, that is a really cool note. So we can actually go and meet May eventually, huh? In response to me bringing her tower intel, May wants to meet outside the nearby church. Probably wants to get a read on me. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of reading myself. Should be able to reach the churchyard through the catacombs now to thank her. We're going to go and put some time on that. We'll go and visit her eventually. But I think at the moment, I want to kind of focus on doing the memorial lane stuff here. So we can go to travel to Memorial Lane. We have an optional quest to speak to the tower lieutenant. And then we need to find a pump regulator and get the regulator dial. I don't know who the guy is there. The tower dude. And we're going to see if we can find him. Um, what do we have for heals? We got two little medical bandages. We have a pistol that is still pretty dang good for its actual health. So we're looking good on that front. Um, we have our knife. Okay. We should be ready to rock and roll, guys. And we do have a shotgun. So if things do go south, we'll just go and make sure that we uh, we blast a freaking hole in anyone that tries to uh, sway sway the ways of odds. All right. So let's go and open this bad boy up. And let's check out Memorial Lane. Because it looks like that's going to be our next quest from Mr. Casey. All right, Memorial Lane. Here we come. Guys. The last time we were here, it got freaky. And I mean, it got freaky, 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 dude. I think this is the one where we went to the building. We uh, had this lady pressure us into stealing our bandages and all of those sorts. I'm like, oh, no, I don't have any bandages. And then I'm like, please don't shoot me. And I just went kablamoed and I completely decimated that chick. So I think we'll be good on adventuring in some of these areas. But I got to be careful on, like, which one's actually the huge, like, tower place you know um because it looks like we travel the memorial lane we do need to go and talk to the tower lieutenant as a optional quest which i don't know who the tower lieutenant is 
or where this man goes. So I'm hopefully just going to like stumble across the tracks, see if we can maybe find him. But this definitely looks like an area that we need to be in. So we'll go and trip this off, um, see if we can maybe talk to some of these people and see if they have any insights. Um, and hopefully they won't actually shoot me. I just want to say hi. I came to visit you. I'm looking for directions. I'm... I, I came for directions. I want to meet your tower lieutenant. Do you know where the hey, tower lieutenant is? I'm looking for the tower lieutenant. I just want help to find him. But you make it so complicated. It's so hard to just ask for directions around here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to climb to the tippy top. Okay, don't make too much noise here, Mr. Taurus. Okay, let's go and get all the way up. And let's hope that there isn't any peeps waiting to murder me here um it doesn't look like we've actually trashed that quest yet which is good we can still do the quest even though that we just killed that person right outdoors you know it doesn't hurt them if they don't know what happened you know what i mean so let's go and continue to kind of scavenge around and then we do need to get this quest done really early on because i don't know if that optional quest can be completed otherwise like if i fail to do it in this time i don't know if we can do it again or have like kind of a you know a redo for our oopsies you know what i mean like if we have an oopsie that's just a certain oopsie oopsie an oopsie doopsie shall i say so let's go and look through here we got some more ammunition nice um we got a whiskey bottle okay sharp objects not really what i'm looking for here um, I do want boxes of stuff, gunpowder. Oh my god. Okay, that is awesome. That is probably, you know what? I was kind of talking smack about these uh, green ones before for the gunpowder, but in all honesty, it's probably one of the better pulls because I don't really get much gunpowder outside of that. That sounded like people. I think we made too much noise. I think they know we're here, guys. Um, we got some ammo. Let's go and continue on, because I think, um, they definitely are around here. They must be under us. <gasps> Crowbar! Bruh. Okay, so that goes right on my other backpack option. Nice. And let's go and continue on. I could just go and crowbar some peeps. I really want to mind that idea. But let's go and peek right inside of here. Hello. Very, very quiet. You can't make much noise here. Okay. Let's just go in. Shh. Okay. Keep right on the ground. Perfect. I hear him talking in the basement. Why? Why would you drop the revolver like that? Okay. Go in the backpack. And we'll go and continue on. Move forward throughout this place. It's just so dark. And the one time I find more extra weapons here. Do I have another spot for this? I do! Okay, no, I can carry both of them. Nice. So we got, what, two crowbars and a shotgun now? Oh, nice. I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, we got some dirty bandages, which might be nice to have for later. We gotta clear this place out. I hear him talking about... Where in the heck are they? Is it right around the corner? Perfect. One down. Awesome. Okay. Let's go and keep moving. This is very, very spooky. Because we might just walk right into someone's little, little hidey spot. And I'm not really a huge fan of that. But another box of stuff. Oh my god. We are so blessed. Hashtag blessed. That is freaking amazing. I am... So stoked. The fact that we came to Memorial Lane and we were just pulling some really, really good stuff. This is freaking awesome, dude. Like, seriously, really, really good stuff. But I want to get this quest done. So we got to find... Let's see. Casey has a request. He'll share info to the reserve if I can acquire some machinery from Memorial Lane. It's in a red house controlled by the tower. So it should have been over here. I would have imagined. Right? So is it maybe through this other room? Like, where can I go, possibly? A pump right... There it is. Okay, sweet. So we got it. That's awesome. Um, we got some more ammunition chilling here too. Dude, so we could have probably pulled this off super, like, super early on. Okay, and we will grab this little guy. Can we look on it? Is there any goods with it? Okay, cool. So we got a lot of goods here, man. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond shotgun? I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. 
kid what? eight. I'm a wreck. Oh, shut Jeff. Up. What is this? I keep seeing that little girl's face. Rest. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. Broken right they are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Oh my god. Your little bro, Anthony. That's so sad. I love like the little lore things that you can get in this. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's so cool, man. I seriously love it. It's like, it just gives you an extra touch of like, just humanization in a way in this super crazy world of zombie survival. Like, I don't know how to really put it. It's just, it's really, really cool. I love just hearing like little lore things like that. You just go and adventure around and, you know, check out all this stuff in the zombie world, you know? Because it's like, there's just so much death and craziness and, you know, just epic moments. But I kind of like it when it slows down a little bit and it just, it feels a little bit more like reality. You know, it's like people leaving notes for their brother in that situation. And, you know, like, if you don't, if you don't see me come back, then I'm probably dead or whatever it is, you know? Like, just cool little story elements like that or just, I don't know. It's a nice little flavor, a little attention to detail and... Just helps me get a little bit more involved in the world. And this, oh my god, let there be light. Okay, you, you think I can throw a knife you? No, I'm not gonna risk it. Oopsie poopsies. You're dead, oopsies. I done diddly did the deed. Thank you for your pistol though. Thank you for your service. We still have two more slots of our backpack left and it's not even the halfway point for us right now. Talk about a good freaking time. So we got a regulator. We need to assemble it eventually. And then we need to speak to the tower lieutenant. Wherever that man is. I don't know where that guy is. But I really want to find him and just speak to him and pick his brain. Because, uh, yeah. I want to see if that optional quest is only available right now. Because if it is, I want to take advantage of that moment. Um, we got our extra broken pistol. So nuts and bolts out the wazoo. Got some more glue. Um, what else do we have in your house? Good, sir. Do you have any other goodies? We got a telephone. What am I going to do? Call someone with that thing when there's, like, no freaking telephone lines? Like, come on, man. Come on. We can't communicate through that. We only got radios, my guy. Okay, hello. That is a person or a zombie? Okay, do not turn around. I swear to God, if you turn around, I'm going to be very, very upset. Come right over here. Perfect. This night shift is the best thing I've ever invested in. Holy crap, dude. No joke. It has been the lifesaver for stealth. Oh my god, and I love it so freaking much. What do we got? A little candy bar. That gives us protein and sugar. So that's a really good thing to check out. Doesn't look like there's anything really awesome back here other than just that chocolate bar. So let's just go and keep moving. But I really want to find that tower guy. Let's keep our eye out. See if we can maybe meet him. Probably not the best situation to, you know, meet him inside the house, also with all the dead freaking members that he has. But, uh, you know what? It doesn't hurt to just shoot our shot. Maybe we can just talk to him and, you know, start a little friend session. You know, he doesn't have to know with all the blood that's on my hands that it's his fallen comrades or anything. Because that would be no fun. And we still have that key. <gasps> I wonder if that's by talking to the tower guy. If we can talk to him, we might be able to get a key given to us to open up that freaking secret place. Oh my god, okay. So let's let's not jinx this. Let's not freaking jinx this. Okay, shh, be very quiet. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Give me your revolver. You are a godsend. Okay, awesome. This place never ceases to get more creepy each time I come and visit it, but I don't mind it, honestly. I, I'm kind of just acknowledge the fact that it's gonna be creepy, and my, my butthole is going to be very, very tight every time I play this game. But sometimes that's just how life is, you know? Tight butthole, dude. Just how it is, man. So we got some bottles. We got some other groovy, groovy items. But I need to keep moving and hopefully not blow my cover onto some of these people. And speak of the devil, you are another prime target for death. All right, so you stay right there. 
Awesome. Okay. Sleep, my friend. You guys just love hanging in the bathroom. I don't know what your problem is, but you have been loving that. We are about halfway through the, uh, the expedition here. So we need to start moving. We need to start moving quick. Let's see where this takes us. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go and walk around. See if we can maybe find that guy that they were talking about. The optional quest. I don't know who that could be or where he's at. But we'll see if we can find him. Oh! Speak of the devil, is this the guy? Hello! Can I speak to you? Are you friendly? nerve rolling in here uninvited. Okay, can I speak to you? Um, let's see. Easy, pal. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. Okay, um, strays. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all Ooh. opportunities. Ooh. You know what? Quest? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack All of right. claim scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't Was that the note I read? Freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. No, never mind. They'll okay. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll Facts. Okay. Right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. Okay, perfect. So, rewards What's in it for me. If he comes back alive, I'll let you snag a few things from our supplies. We've got oh. some meds, decent grub, ammo too. Just don't get greedy. Okay, bet. I'm on. Sounds like I can be of service. Let's do it. Get to it then. Okay, so it seems like a group of reclaimed have captured a member of the tower. However, if this plays out, it may get me one step closer to the pump parts in the red house. Oh, I've already gotten that. So I need to speak to these guys in the light blue house across here and hopefully just have a good conversation with them and not, uh, not kill them instantly. So this is going to be a little bit weird. Might be a little bit freaky even. But uh, sometimes things just need to be done. So we're going to play good guy because what they don't know won't hurt them. Okay, so let's go and meet these people at the blue house. We'll go and speak with them and we'll see what they say. What? Oh, he's yapping. He is Mr. Yapperton. So we need to go speak. Speak to the reclaimed in the light blue house. Hello? Oh, we got a zombie hanging. This guy's really going in. Hello? Hello? Oh, we can talk to this guy. Okay. Who the hell are you? The negotiator. A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show so his this is the face guy we need to save. and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. That's not me. Um, negotiator, okay. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt where maggots oh belong. Oh my god, and they got two people here. Kill him? What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My oh. daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches now I don't know what to think. and yet they toss out those most in need because they are left? no longer useful. Because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He's he just wasting eyes. <laughs> but he did not. He forced her out. Left her to die. Who do I believe here? She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once okay. they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaim. Ooh. Okay. Two wrongs? Two wrongs. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet? Huh? You're fucked in the head, just like the rest of them. Get out of my face before I take it. Oh, it's horrible. There we go. Please. I gotta go. Oh my god, don't kill that guy. I'm sure I need him. Don't kill the kid. I need him alive. Okay, I'm saving you, dude. No.
Nope. Stay right there. Okay, is there another one? Is he gone? Nice! We did it! Okay, he can go back home as long as he doesn't get bit. Um, I need to focus on him. Because I need to make sure to escort him back. Let's see, where do you run off to? Do you run off to this side? Where'd this guy go? Did he go back to his brother? Hello? Oh, that's a bottle. Okay, where in the frick did this man run? I hope he ran back to his friend. But dude, I don't know where he went. He's running past all the zombies? Dude, this man is cruising. Okay, so we got, we got him back. Give me the goods, bro. So he's at the red house. Perfect. Let's see. But you pulled it off. I didn't think I was ever gonna see my little bro again. You have my thanks. Anything awesome. you can scrounge up in that house is yours, as promised. No hassle from us. You did a good thing today. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is so twisted. How do I break it to you that I literally killed the rest of your family, but I saved your brother? <laughs> I. You know that's cool. Yeah. Hey, You've I'm giving me a second chance. Yeah. Thank you. I promised. <laughs> Oopsies, my bullet slipped. <sighs> Okay. Right into my bullet. I help no one. I am the tourist. More like the terrorist of zombies. Kablam! Plot twist. You're all dead. Oopsie poopsies. <laughs> that was, um... So, it, it's really weird. Okay, so I was hoping that he would drop a key and, like, give me some good. But instead he's like, alright, anything you find in the house, have at it. Well, joke's on you. I already looted the, like, rest of the house. There's really nothing here for me, so that means you just needed to die. Okay, so thank you. Uh, it was fun. It was great knowing you. All right, I'm happy I could do that optional quest and get that done, but now you're dead. All right, and I no longer have to worry about who I align myself with. I'm not with the reclaimed. I'm not with the tower. I'm not with nobody. Nobody. All right. I am with myself and myself only. All right. I'm more of a nomad with no alignment. I like to go and travel and try new things and all that stuff. I wanted to see what strings I could pull in that situation. And when I realized there was no weight to saving his life, it was kind of just like, you know what, man? This is your repayment. Your repayment is uh, fairness. And your fairness is in death. All right? <laughs> they died. You died. We die. Perfect. Fantabulous. That went so great. I actually cannot believe, though, I almost ended up dying in this because I didn't scope out the rest of the situation. I thought it was only that dude and the person to my right, but there was like four or five people, and that could have easily just led to a situation of me being overwhelmed by numbers and dying so fast. But we're good. We got another box of stuff to go and loot up, which is freaking amazing. We got some more medicine hiding in the cabinet, which is great. So we got good lootables. We got good lootables. We got our quest done. What else... Can we possibly find in this beautiful freaking place that we call? I don't even know what we call. The the light blue house on the, the middle of the street? Is is that is that what I'm looking for? Is that okay. We're gonna move on. Um I'm hoping to maybe find some more Twinkies. Maybe some more cool stuff, like um, you know, those those really good boxes of stuff. That would be great. But our time is also running very very slim here, ladies and gentlemen. It is getting a little bit freaky, and I don't know how I feel about it, but this zombie... Alright. Sleep for the rest of eternity. You don't deserve to be tortured. Alright. You've been hanging out for far too long. You don't deserve it, my little friend. Okay? I say little friend as I've literally killed every single other zombie, but there's just something about you, man. Maybe you're a special dude. You know what I mean? I bet you were, I bet you were a pretty upstanding guy. But then your world got flipped upside down. And I mean literally upside down. And it just, it's a little wrong, man. I'll put you out of your misery, all right? But no boxes of stuff! You'll be joking me, man. I got a freaking spoon. Found a spoon. I got some dirty bandages, which I'll, I guess I'll just go and apply now. But there's really nothing else that I have to do here now. I think it's probably good for us to just go and escape. But where did we come from? Can I go to the other skiff locations? I'm sure I probably can, actually. So I'm gonna go and keep moving on. Um, I'm gonna let those zombies just keep roaming, and we're gonna walk over to this other end and just see if we can escape, and if we can't, we'll go and make our way back to the other side, because I think that's where we came from, but I might be wrong. Zombie, 
Go to sleepies. All right. I have put so many of you and your friends to sleepies. But it just has to be done. Um, I'm going to get rid of this little cog wheel. I'm going to put that in there. Awesome. How did that guy spot me? Are you joking me? Okay, you know what? Perfect. Bring it, zombie. Thank you very much. I no longer have to get exposed to your stupid little diseases. Okay? But let this be here, please, for the love of God. If this isn't sitting here, I'm going to be a sad, sad man. We got a few more zombies over there. Is this skiff still going to let me go? And the bell's about to ring, too. Okay, we should be able to go. So you can go to the other locations as well. Perfect. Okay, so let's rock and roll. Let's head back to the resting place and get back home. All right, guys, we did some amazing work. We went and completed the optional quest. We got all the parts that we needed for the story missions in a way that we probably shouldn't have, but we did. We got the pump regulator and the control dial, so I figured we just gotta go and put that bad boy together for Mr. Casey. And then we got all this other random stuff inside of our box here. So we're gonna go and get rid of all these items. We got an extra crowbar too, which I'm debating if we even really need it. Because we already have a ton of freaking uh, ton of weapons the way it is. So I might just kind of get rid of it, just so we can get a lot of items out of that. I mean, we get a shaft, sharp objects, and workable metal. Maybe that's not what I'm looking for. I think I want more than just that. So we'll keep the crowbars. We got our extra shotgun, but let's go and drop our broken revolvers in. We got our glue, a box of stuff, which gives us only five gunpowder, eight nuts and bolts, and six workable metal. So not really a huge hit off of that one, but we do have some extra medis, which is great. We got some wood to go and throw in, which is awesome. We got a box of matches. We have our broken little pistoles, so we'll throw all those in. We got a frying pan, some more glue. Dude, we actually got a lot of boxes of stuff. We got 12 gunpowder, 9 workable metal, and 10 nuts and bolts out of that one. And then we got 20 gunpowder, 18 workable metal, and 20 nuts and bolts out of the second one. Really, really good stuff. We got some trophies because we are the champion of Memorial Lane. Some dirty bandages, which I'm actually just going to go and get rid of so we can get antiseptics, adhesives, and all that jazz. But also, what is this? Is there a way I can study this weapon to, like, learn it? It'd be awesome if I could, like, build that eventually. We got another revolver, we got other dirty bandages, and then we got some more medicine that we can go- Oh, that went all the way down to the bottom. Let's go and put you back in here. That looks good. And then, a broken rifle frame! Let's go. Dude, wait, we still have an entirely different page here. We got some more wood, we got a dragon bar, some more medicine. Okay, so we actually pulled, like, what, three carns of that? We got another pistol frame, some glue, and one more freaking frame for the rifle awesome stuff guys that is a really good step in the right direction we got more of our rifle frames for whenever we actually do unlock that in our workstations wood scraps were above 100 nuts and bolts were above 100 a workable metal as well dude we are looking so strong adhesives even broke 100 too okay so antiseptics and a lot of the food stuff is just what we really got to focus on the next time that we get into the headset, man. But yeah, other than that, we should probably go and actually craft this thing for the story and just get this out of the way as we go and move forward. So we'll go and craft this bad boy up. We got 45, 45, and 45. Is there something I can do with this thing? Um, we'll go and talk. You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Oh, heck yeah, I did, man. Um, I got the regulator. deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. Sweet, let's do it. Let's chat reserve first, or you owe me or else. Let's do that. Spill what you know about the reserve right now. Or I may have to misplace this contraption. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. Geez, you're right. I like it. I, I like it. No need for threats. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. The reserve is real, but you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's oh, an old military snap. bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, That's a big the info National drop. Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It malfunctioned, and 
Now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. Oh, man. It's so sad because at the end of the day, whenever this man thinks he's going to be saved, I'm basically just going to kill him because I'm kind of like living my own life. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go and get as much materials as possible. And once I get my quest items, bro, like we're done. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. Ooh. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You're alone in there? What's in the reserve or running out of time? Let's do you're alone in there. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. Okay. Why did they leave? If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing oh. else to say about it. He's getting a little defensive, though. What's in the reserve? Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. So you're telling me, with all the items that I have here, which I've been scavenging, in the reserve, I could get army level, perfect condition weapons if I help this man. Okay, that's big. What's the that's rush big. to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is going to matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Let's see. Starvation, crushed or drowned. I'm going to choose crushed. If you get crushed... At least it would be quick, right? Fast. Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. Uh, I don't know about that, Chief. A fighting chance. It's been pretty Look, freaking twist. wild. I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start. And some fresh fucking air. Oh, nice. So, sounds far-fetched. Why should I trust you or why me? I'm gonna go why me. Why do you need me to get you out? Plenty of people are looking for the reserve. Why not get one of these groups to help you? Well, my gut tells me that you're my best bet. The tower and the reclaimed are both after the reserve, sure. They're obsessed with it. What do I do say. with this thing? They believe it will shift all the power in Nola. But I don't trust them. They're too absorbed by their agendas. You're unaligned. On your own. Like me. That's kind of the beauty, Every though. It allows me not to be on either side. I can right. basically work on whatever side I want, when I want. I'm in. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm going to turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Sweet. Night, tourist. Okay, so that is it. We are done talking to Mr. Casey. We do have this little pump regulator, which is super nice. So we will keep that for the future. And we'll probably get to that on day number 11. Okay, so day number 11. Let's go and drink this away and wake up in the beautiful time of the morning. Day 11. Early morning. The available supplies have dwindled, and the dead have grown in number. Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be where we call it for this episode of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. We got so much stuff done, man. Like, all the stuff that we've collected for nuts and bolts, gunpowder, wood scraps, frames, you name it, dude. We did so much incredible work with the stuff that we actually collected. 
And not only that, but we got really good upgrades for our station here. And we're even able to go and continue to upgrade it if we wanted to. We got our gear station up to level 7. We got our gun station not really upgraded at all because we didn't really put anything towards this. And then we got our survival station up to level 5, which is itching us even closer to possibly getting our boyer little upgrade for passive. And then also the toughen up one at level 9. So I'm super excited for the future of the series, man. We are doing really, really good work in a very short amount of time. So if you guys did end up enjoying this episode of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, I definitely do recommend going and smashing that beautiful subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, that's me for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters! Doesn't get easier the further I run it's harder to carry the weight of what I've done I am speaking from experience I don't want to run